Boom! Here we are, live! And in this video, in this live stream, we are going to unbox this brand spanking new Armour Big Rock 6S. And we're going to chuck all these upgrades on here. This is an M2C beefcake kit, kit. So it comes with a 7075 chassis, all this other stuff. We're going to go through all this a bit later on in this live stream. And also, I've got a perfect pass servo to fit onto it. These are some of the best servos I've ever used in an RC car. That's what we're going to do. This is one that I've already used. I'm doing a full video on this one. So we're going to put this one to the side for now. And chuck this one on the floor. And then... We are going to focus on the brand spanking new one. Right, let's turn you around. So even though I'm recording this live, I'm recording this live, most of you guys are going to be seeing it as a replay. I've got my iPad up here as well. So I'm going to be able to get to some of the comments live. That's if it works anyway. Right, so let's get some of these upgrades to the side. Got a big cup of chicory here to keep me going throughout the build. No idea how long this build's going to take. Uh, so you guys can comment down below how long you reckon this build's going to take. I'm going to guess two and a half hours. I don't know. What do you reckon? What do you guys reckon? All right, so here we are. Brand new Armour Big Rock 6S. Let's get him unboxed. I'm not going to bore you with too much techno babble, but there is a link down below with all the specifications, all the techno babble, where you can get it from, all that stuff. So I'm not gonna bother telling you about motor KVs and servo speeds and all that stuff. If you wanna know all that, that is all down below. Now the good thing with recording these videos live, I mean, it's a bit long-winded, but some of you guys wanna see what actually goes into building a car or modifying a car live. So full live unboxing, full live build, I'll open that in a minute. You don't want to see the car. Let's not long it out too long. I don't want to become one of those channels where they spend ages looking at the box and 10 minutes later they still haven't opened it. We're not going to do all that. We're going to get this out of here as quick as possible. I know you lot have probably got better things to do for your day than just sit here watching me blabber. So we'll get it out of the box as quick as possible. Have a little chat with some of you guys on the comments and hopefully you get it built as quickly as possible. Let's get in there. Come on, out you come. So it's, table, it's all cable tied in there for shipping. Get that out of there. Right, it's box out of the way. Get all this junk out of the way, yeah? All right, there we got the car. Right, let's flip you around so you can get a better view of it. You don't want to see my ugly mug, do you? You want to see this? This is what you're all here for. Let's be honest. Right. No idea what that is, but we don't need it. Get all this coverage off of there. We don't need that. I already know my way around it slightly because I've already unboxed the red one. So you've got no body clips on this at the front. It latches in at the rear. <laughs> I thought this was a X Max style thing, but it's not. It's a fake fifth wheel. So you lift it off there, and then it's got this big hook here where it slides out. So, let's have a little look inside. So there we got the 6S motor, 6S CSC. I think they're starting to put better servos in their rigs nowadays. This is pretty fast, but we can always go better. Why not? We're upgrading. So we've got a long wheelbase chassis. I think the same chassis what you get on the Mojave and on the fire team. I think it is pretty much a fire team, really. It's sort of based on that. I like all the nice little black bits on there. Uh, so, well, I suppose we'll start ripping it apart and putting all these upgrades on there. Right, we'll get that out of the way. Uh, that out of the way. Wheels and tyres, we're going to put them on last. Once we've done the build, because it's going to be easier to work on. All right, flip you around, bung you on the bench. And then hopefully some of you guys on the comments here can tell me what you've been up to. What you've been up to? Let me know in the comments what you've been doing. Waffle, waffle, waffle. All right, get that out of the way. We're only doing like these sort of upgrades. You want to try and keep your workbench as clean and tidy as possible. Space soon runs out. It looks like we've got a lot of space at the minute, but that is soon going to run out. 
Pose working. Eric's chilling. When are the plane videos? Oh, it's going to take a while to do the plane videos, dude. It's going to take a little while because, I mean, if I just unbox it and took it straight out for a film, it would be quick and easy. But I've put quite a lot of effort into them at the minute. So, and there's multiple planes in there. We've still got to get them going, so it's going to be a little while. I'm putting my glovey on because I want to keep my hands nice. I've got a cracked skin going on on some of my fingers at the minute. And you get, even though there's only a little bit of grease in places, you get it all in there and then it gets worse. So give me a break. Right, let's start ripping this thing apart. So, right. I want to make sure I'm not making extra work for myself. So definitely got to change the chassis. Let's have a look at what parts we've got to change with the chassis. There's a few parts we can change afterwards. Uh, or while we, um, yeah, so I think chassis off first. So we've got the front and rear bulkhead separate. And then we can start working on the front and rear ends. Right, that there, that there, that there, that there. Little, little shuffle about. Uh, that there. Right, right, I think I know where we at. I think I know where we at. So I think first of all, we're just gonna flip this over and just take everything off. Strip it all down to its bare bones, brand new, never used. One in's been working and racing off road. Nice, swamp thing RC racing. All right, so side guards off first. A lot of you guys always say, how do I remember how it all goes back together? I don't really. <laughs> but one little trick I do, I keep all the screws with whatever part comes off. So you see this comes off, take the screws. I'm going to put it all over here, away from, out of the way from the bench as far away as possible. So it's not going to interfere with the workings. We keep all the parts together. All the screws with the parts that come off of it. But it is fairly obvious where it all goes after a while. I've done a few of these Armour 6S rigs now. Hello from Kentucky. Hello. Where are you guys all from? Let me know in the comments. Whereabouts are you viewing from? I'm guessing most of you guys viewing are from America. All right, that one off. So I'll switch. Minnesota, Oregon, Netherlands, Australia, bloody hell, it's coming in quick, Leeds, Canada, Scotland, Kent, Germany, uh, bloody hell, all over the place, Czech Republic, Surrey, Southampton, England, Iowa, oh my god, it's coming in quick now, Woo. sometimes you can put the screw back on where it came out of, that can help you remember where it goes as well. Um, I'm only going to work on one part at a time, I think. So I think if we do like, so we start on the hard bit, the front, get the front end done first. That, that looks like it's going to be the most tricky. Let's start with the hardest bit first. Get it out of the way. Get that out of there, the centre brace. Actually, custom RC upgrades make some really nice centre braces for these. I should have got one, really. Because these, uh oh. See, like that long screw there, for example, if you just loosely put it back where it's come out of, then you're going to remember how to put it back. Like that out of there. Maybe, yep, we can get that out. Cool. Or you could just keep it with that part. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, whatever. Whatever. Uh, right, servo, we're going to ditch anyway. Let's get that servo arm off of there. Boom, like that. I put the little bolt back in the servo. Try to anyway. X Max Ultimate awaits you, says RC Kicks. Yeah, I think I've got one coming if I can get my hands on one. You're not the easiest to get hold of nowadays. Right, now, start getting the front end off. I should really, definitely the ones that are locked tighted, is make sure that they're loose first by hand before we get the ugga dugger on there. 
Now, so this is all stuff for the front bumper. So what holds him on? Right, I've just got some more screws there. Let's get him off now. Two screws there. Get it down a bit more so you can see better. Uh, is that a good view? Can you see good? What what RCs have you guys been wrenching on at the moment? What what is your yeah, you know, I always sort of go through phases of playing with different RCs. And what, what RC are you guys playing with and wrenching on at the minute? I've had a bit of an X-Max phase recently, actually. I do like my X-Maxes, but I'm feeling a XRT phase, not an XRT phase, a Raminator phase coming back soon. MT-10, oh yeah, the MT-10 is a good car. By the way, guys, you guys can actually win this actual car when it's all put together with all the upgrades on there. So there is a link in the description and pinned comment. All right, front end off, bump. With all the screws I'm putting next to it. So this car here, I'm not gonna run it. So I've actually got two cars on that competition. You can win the old one there that's on the floor, or you can choose to take the brand new one. Because when I've done an old one and people complain and they say, oh, you're just smashing it all up and you're just giving away a smashed up car. So I was like, okay, I'll give away a new car instead then. So then people were complaining, saying, no, 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 we don't want a new car, we want the one that's been on the channel. So now I'll do two, and then the winner can choose which one he wants. The one used on the channel, or the brand new one. Right, so, four screws now, and I think it's gonna be the whole, the whole front end off, hopefully, anyway. Hopefully that'll come off now. Oh, and we've still got the centre brace as well. Right, centre brace screw, and then it should all come off. Have you ever tried a HSP boxer? No, I've not heard of it actually. Right, there we go. Off there, front end off. And then what I'm going to do, shaft there is just put this completely to the side. We're going to worry about this in a minute. Uh, where are we going to put him? Put him down here for now. And then we're going to fully focus on this part here. Get this completely built. And then we can bolt this completed whole package onto the front end. And that's that bit done. And then we can do the rear or the centre and whatever. And just move our way along. Um, you, you could just strip the whole thing, but you're going to end up with screws absolutely everywhere and you're going to forget where everything goes. What have you guys been up to for Christmas? Right. So the shock tower's going to have to come off. So we've got the shock tower here. Checking to make sure that it's definitely going to go on. Yep, should do, hopefully. So we've got M2C shock tower. If you want to know about all these upgrades, there is a link down below if you want to know in more detail. That's got to go on. That's got to go on. Then we've got the front brace. That one there. Got some standoffs to put on it. Uh, some of those. And that's going to cover us, I think. These M2C parts are nice, man. We'll show you those in a minute in a bit more close-up action once we get to putting them on. Right, so first, I think shock's off. Oh, oh uh, actually, that as well. I need those for the front. Right, shock's off. So what I'm going to do is all the parts for the shocks are going to go in this little bin there. Oh, Mr. Goat got an X-Max, I uh, got a Max for Christmas. That's a good present. Wow. That's an epic present. Can I get them in Sri Lanka? I don't know, dude. Hit up Google. Google is your friend. 
Where's the rift? Someone said, the rift. I've got it up there. I'll have to get him out soon, especially when I get over to the Isle of Man. That's one of the best places. Well, I think it's actually the best place I've ever been to for RC crawling on the Isle of Man. So you're probably going to get a bit more crawling content soon. All right, shocks are off. Now, M2C make this here, which is, what's it called? V5 shock caps, and it comes with these different pistons that have got O-rings, and it makes your damping different. However, I don't like taking shocks apart. It's messy, stuff goes everywhere, and it's a basher. Personally, I don't care how a basher handles too much. So I'm gonna leave them off for now. Unless, unless it really does handle bad, then I might put them on. But I'm gonna leave them off for now. Some people really love playing about with their rigs and messing about with handling and all that. I'm not, I'm more of a hardcore basher. So as long as it's durable, you know, basher, I'll build it to be durable. That is my main objective when building these things. Durability, make them last as long as possible. All right. Next up, I think we'll remove the steering assembly. Yeah, we'll do that next. That off. Did you guys do anything good for Christmas? What did you guys get up to for Christmas? Got CLC from California. Hello, dude. I'll keep, see, I'll try to keep all these bits together. So it should be easier to put it back together again. Well, I'm gonna keep these actually in front of the camera, just so I don't mix them up with chassis components. All right, next up, shock tower. Should really get him off. Yep, shock tower off. I mean, it'd be a lot quicker if you're taking it apart just to put all the screws out and shake it but it's not gonna make it easier to put it, putting it back together again. All right, shock tower off. We're gonna have to take these parts off and move them over onto the new shock tower in a minute. So keep all that there with the parts. Uh, you know what, I think I'm gonna do that now. So we can start getting rid of some parts actually. The more parts we can get off of the bench that are not Related to the build anymore, the easier it's going to get. Oh. Do it with the old knife. Richard goes Christmas every day. <laughs> right, so there we got M2C Shock Tower. Man, these things are made so nice. Camera doesn't do it justice. It says on their fire team because it's probably the same. It is pretty, it is pretty much a fire team, the big rock. Just with a different body. I was never really a fan of the big rock uh, or the fire team body, so this I like. Right, also, we've got this standoff kit because the stock ones have a habit of breaking. Get them in there. Can you bring the two wheel drive rustler out? I'll have to at some point, yes. Lee Harding in the house. How you doing, dude? Right, so, these, these new standoffs, they are actually a bigger thread. So you have to drill out your shock towers. Now it does come with a drill bit with the M2C package. When you're drilling, guys, wear goggles. I know it's all cool and all that to not wear them. Your friends are gonna be like, ah, oh, you're worse wearing goggles. But to know what's really not cool, taking out your eyes. And these drill bits can be quite brittle. So when you're drilling through something like this, it can snatch, smash the drill bit, and you get a piece embed yourself into your eyeball. Definitely not cool. But you know, you do you, you know, if you think you look good by not doing it, do whatever. But you know, I'm just saying I wouldn't. Right. So I'm not gonna drill all the holes. I'm only gonna drill the middle holes because that's I'm gonna set it up the same as it is stock. See, that's when you bite in. See, you've got to be really careful. Really careful, don't push too hard. See, it's really trying to bite. It's really trying 
careful on a bite, see? If you're not careful, it will just... See, look at oh, these drill bits are viciously sharp. Man, these are vicious, viciously sharp. Alright, got that one through. And the next one. You want to not push hard at all. That is tempting to push hard, it's just going to dig in. It's even digging in like that. Drill out, might as well draw the back one as well. Why never any co rally? says Mark. Uh, I don't connect with them too much. I mean, they do for a basher, they handle really nice for a basher, but they're, they're not as durable as they make out. They always say they're like the toughest thing going, they're the strongest thing going, raising the bar, they give it all that stuff, and if. They're not that tough. I'd say they're averagely tough, but you know, I'm, I'm more of a hardcore basher and they're a bit of a picture icon I find as well. I don't enjoy working on them. I know they've got a big following and some people absolutely love them. The thing is with RC, you've got to use whichever puts the biggest smile on your face. Man, it's, it's tricky to drill. It'd be easier if the drill bit wasn't so sharp. Right. One more. One more, and then we can get with assembling. TLX4 unboxing says Mantle. Uh, yes, I've got two of them. Two TLX4 M's. And we'll do a video on that at some point soon ish. Step side goes drill press. Yeah, I know, I should really get one. This shop isn't big enough. When I get my new shop, hopefully, and I'll get more space, I want to get more tools. I want to have a full, a full metal shop. I want lathes, mills, tube benders, plasma cutting tables, uh, brake press, guillotine, uh, milling machines, CNC stuff. I want a full metal workshop. But at the moment, I haven't got the space. But, There'll be a new shop soon. Probably still not big enough for <laughs> all the stuff that I want in it. But you know, when you've got dreams, you've got to work up to them. You can't just get everything straight away, not unless you're born with a silver spoon in the mouth, which most of us are not. Right, I'm just gonna make a bit of noise. I've got to get the vacuum out and get rid of all these shavings. <laughs> Right, now we can go ahead and take the bits off of this one and put them onto this one. Uh, so. Where's the cheapest place I can get good RC cars? I'd say the best hobby grade RC, if you're not sure about a first RC car, you want something that's really good for everything. I mean, you can't get on-roaders, but you're not going to be able to use them off-road. So I'd say definitely get an off-roader. Uh, there are some good cars on Banggood. However, getting spares can be a bit tricky. And when you're first starting out, you're not going to get the help. So I would recommend that you go to your local hobby shop. And, oh, that doesn't go on there. Why does that not fit? I think if we fit that... Oh man. Uh, oh, they've got their own little body mounting system. 
So on this particular one, this isn't going to fit. Oh, all right. We have to keep with the stock one then. That's a bit of a bummer. So if this was an edited video, I could have ordered another one or whatever. But because it's live, we can't. So we've got to do it all off the cuff. Right, that back on. And I'm going to have to drill some more holes. Right, can't use that, unfortunately. Damn it! I was looking forward to getting those nice shock towers on there. I mean, the only way you could do them, I suppose, is to use normal armour body posts and ditch their body mounting system. Right. Ah. Len, Len goes, Kev, no go, boom. Oh, no. No boom on this one. Be nice, though. Be nice to go boom. Not this time though. Right, so next, this standoff won't go in. So now we've got to drill it again. Glasses back out. Now, hold on, we'll get this off first. We'll do both at the same time. Hopefully the back one will go straight on. We'll see. We'll see. Are the ESC problems fixed yet? I have absolutely no idea. I didn't even know there was any ESC problems. I mean, I've used the red one and it seemed to work all right. Had good breaks, everything worked all right on the one that I had. This one, I'm not going to run. Well, I'll, I'll fire it up and make sure that it works, but I'm not going to take it out bashing this one. Right, so I'm guessing this is going to drill a bit easier. Should be a bit softer, this one. Yeah, that went straight through that, easy. Like a hot knife through butter. This is an M2C material, really heavy duty, high grade M2C, uh, 7075 stuff. This is more like monkey metal, so you probably be able to drill, drill through that with a wooden drill bit, probably. Right, noise again. Look. Right, so now we've got these new bigger standoffs, so in the hole, nut on the back, do him up and bosh, should really use a nice wrench on there. We're using our adventure because one of you guys are going to win this car, so we'll keep it nice. We're not going to scruff it up with pliers like I do on my own. <laughs> we'll keep this one all nice for you. If this is the one you want, maybe you want the one that's been reviewed on the channel. It's up to the winner to choose which one the winner wants. This one or the used and abused one. Do you have any birds around where you live? Yeah, loads of birds. Crapping all over your cars, lovely. <laughs> what is the cheap best hobby grade? Oh yeah, going back to that. So the cheapest best hobby grade RC, I would say is the, is the um, Team Associated Rival MT-10. You, you want to support your local hobby shop, and also, if you have any troubles with your car, you can go there and they'll help you fix it. If you buy something from Banggood, I mean, you can get some good deals on there. Some of the stuff's good, like the MJX Hyper Go. Probably the best smaller cheap RC car, but if something goes wrong with it, where are you going to go? Uh, right, so next we need to... We've got this steering rack to put on there. So for that, we need to remove this whole rack assembly and also got these hinge pin things. Hopefully gonna go on there. All right. Uh, this could all go very wrong on this live stream. 
everything could go completely wrong. That's why not many people do live builds, because when it goes wrong, you're kind of stuck there trying to fix it live. But we do everything with maximum authenticity. So I want you guys to see when stuff goes wrong. It doesn't fully work out. All right. Uh... That in there. Hopefully they haven't used too much Loctite on here. Armour oh, used to use way too much Loctite. Someone goes RC toilet. Yeah, that was a, a, um, a video idea actually to build an RC toilet. Uh, we'll have to do that at some point. I don't know when. I've got a lot on my plate at the moment. Got the Isle of Man move coming up. I'm learning to fly. Got a new workshop to set up. New house to move into. And still a whole load of video I'm trying to make all at the same time. So there will be more projects and stuff. I'm doing a few little projects at the minute that I'm working on. But these bigger projects that are going to take up more space, like a whole entire toilet. I know, I will do it. I will definitely do it. You guys want to see it, so we'll definitely do it. Right, that's off. So now we can change this steering rack. I've actually bent a few of the stock ones. So nice little upgrade. So right, you've got to make sure you put it back on the right way around. I've done that before. You put stuff on the wrong way around, you put the whole thing back together again, and then nothing lines up, and then you've got to take the whole thing apart again. So I'm going to try and get it right first time. Might work, might not work. Who knows? Oh, bits are falling off already. All right, so you've got a little little top hat thing in there. Should we? Let's get you closer. Let's get you closer so you can see what's going on. Yeah, see what's going on. Put you there for a little while. It's going to be a bit annoying because there's camera in the way now. <laughs> Put M2C jackhammer kit on the sledge as mid a high ORC. Yes, I have actually got that kit. I've just got to put it on. All right, so these little top hats in there. That goes underneath. Oh, there's more bits falling off now. Oh, gold. Oh, God. Let's put, let's put this one back on first. I always like to bolt as much back on as possible. Otherwise, if you end up with too many parts all in one go, you forget where it all goes. Screw fell out there. Little nuttage, I mean. Even if I just put it back together loose for now. Right way round. Yep. There we go. Beautiful. And now we do the same on this side. How far is Hastings from Redfin Models? I don't know, dude. Google it. Google it. Go on, Google. Type in Redfin Models. Go to Maps. Put your location in the directions, and it will tell you exactly how far it is. There's no point asking me because I don't I don't come from Hastings, so I don't know how far Hastings is from anything. Come on, out. So top hat in there. A little spacer on there. Carefully slide that back over. This little screwage back in there. Kev, can you get a Traxxas Stampede Ultimate? Maybe. Use thicker foam wheels for the fastest car. Uh, what ones, dude? Uh, what wheels are you talking about, dude? Right. Uh, I have got another upgrade, actually. Hold on. Bear with me. Bear with me. Where is it? I've got to find something. 
side because oh man ah, here we are got it exp that part there this is a major weak spot on armors this is probably the first thing that you're going to break so i would definitely recommend changing that break so easy so here i've got an exp one if you're only going to do one upgrade on your armor do this that is the most you, you just literally break that straight away and ruin your days bashing Right, so we've got two screws to hold it on. No, my sod's law now. It's not going to fit, is it? <laughs> right, what way does it go? Not sure which way it goes. I suppose we'll see in a minute. Let's get this one off first. Hoping we haven't got to take the whole thing apart to get it on. Oh, Austin says on the M2C side, let them know that it's going onto a big rock and they can substitute the carbon fibre shock towers. Those fit the body mounts. Oh, cool. Nice one. We'll have to get some of those then. Then we've got a screw underneath here. Can you get rust out of it? Maybe, dude. Can you make video on LC Racing EMBSC? Eh... Uh, I don't know what car that is. I'm guessing it's a short course, but possibly. All right. So now off with that. And then which way does that go on? Does it go that way? Does it go that way round? Right, that way the screws line up and... I'm guessing it probably does go that way. Must go that way, surely. Yeah, all right. So it comes with screws. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of Loctite on there. Do you pay tax from M2C? Depends where you're from. And it depends where it's going. And it depends if you get caught as well. All depends. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Yeah, definitely, this is a must-do upgrade. Oh, hold on, what am I doing? This comes with... Well, I lost one. It comes with these screws here that go in there to lock these pins into place. It's a different system. But I've got more. If I've lost it, it doesn't matter. Oh, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Put the wrong ones in. Put the wrong ones in. What's your favourite RC crawler for under 400? Probably the RGT from Banggood. Yes, it's a short course. It's quite big for Eam scale. All oh, right. Might have to try one then. It's Banggood, have it? If they're on bang good, I might get one. Which would you recommend? X Max or Armour Fire Team? Depends what you want, dude. Whichever one's going to put a bigger smile on your face, that is the one that you want. So watch a few videos, see which one you like. Ideally, if you've got any friends or know anyone that's got one, just see which one you want. I prefer the X Max because the X Max is my favourite RC, but. A lot of people disagree. So what's right for you uh, depends on you, my friend. All right, that's in there. And then I'm going to put these screws in there now just so we don't lose them. Little blobber on there. Chad goes armour all day. All right, so let me know in the comments, people. It's going to get a bit heated now. There's going to be some arguments going on. Do you prefer Traxxas or Armour and why? 
What do you prefer, tractors or armour, and why? Right, so that's that on. That can go away. Box of stuff we don't need anymore. Next up, got some EXP stickers there as well. Maybe put them on the body, maybe. Don't need that anymore. These we will need, because these are the new pins that go in there now. That we will need. Right, next. Next up, we've got to put in these hinge pin braces, or whatever they're called, what are they called? Front hinge pin kit. Right. Tracks is as easy to spell, like both, whatever puts a bigger smile on your face, yeah, yeah, yeah. Armour better, because they've got lots of options. So that's the good thing. Good thing with all the variety, there's so much to choose from. X Max gives good flex, support X Max because of you, says Jason. Tracks is for durability, armor for smooth driving. Tiny goes, I'm bored. How can you be bored? I never understand when people say they're bored. It's like, we're living in a world now where, like, you can have anything you want, or anything. You know, and if you haven't got the money for it, you can go on online and you can make the money. You couldn't do that, like, say, 20 years ago. You're living in the best time in history right now, where anything you want to do, you can do it. And to, to say that you're bored, dude, don't waste your life. There's, you get one shot at life. Don't waste it being bored, dude. The whole world is your playground. You can go out there and do whatever you want. Just sitting around bored, wasting your life away, dude. You'll regret it. You'll regret it. Right. So that one goes on that one. Yep. And it comes with screws as well. Right. Hopefully I'll get it right first time. A swig of chicory right there. Right. So off with this. Off with it. Well, guys, if you leave in comments, for they're coming through so quick they're difficult to read. So if you leave them as short as possible, the less words the better, the more likely I am to be able to answer it for you. All right, so that is off. And that is on. Someone goes wrong way. Why is it wrong way? Just count a sunk on this side. So I would say that is the way it should go. I would say, anyway. Does he go that way? Find out in a minute, I guess. Lossy, how many RCs do you have? Willie says, oh, I've lost count, dude. I have no idea. And it's, I think it's an impossible thing to even count because some RCs are in bits and I'm not sure if I'm going to build them up again or not. Other ones, like toy grade ones, do you include them? I mean... Do you only include working ones? Do you include ones that are like half broken down for parts? Do you include really crappy ones? Do you include a little $5 Banggood special? I mean, what do you include? I mean, it's a different, it's over 100, but I can't give you an exact figure. Any Lossy 5T videos coming soon? Uh, uh, there will be, but I don't know when. Right, uh, next up. So off with this one. What is your favourite RC brand, people? Someone just said, so I get a sledge. If you like the look of it, dude, yes, I love my sledge. Absolutely epic piece of kit. Right, so that replaces that, so that can go back on there. Right, 
It does come with new screws on the M2C thing. But... I I, the stock ones are going in. Right, why is that? What's going on there? Why is that? Ah, that's why. That is why. When you're putting the M2C one on there, the stock screws are too long. And you've got to replace them with these ones. Aha, right. So, shorter screw in. Oh, my felony for me, says, says someone. Traxxas. Someone goes 4 before 2 before slash. I prefer four-wheel drive. I'm not really a massive fan of two-wheel drive with RCs. They just sort of spin around and the brakes don't work as well. So I prefer the handling of four-wheel drives, personally. A lot of people disagree. And that is cool. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion. So you should get whatever you prefer. But for me, I prefer four-wheel drive. I never get it when people argue over what's better. Well, you know, what's better is what's best for you. All right, pin in. Then they come with these little nylon thingy majigs that go on there. And then that on there. This makes the front end so much stronger. Because if you normally, if you think, if you crash, you hit the arm, the arm, the arm tries to rip off this part of the bulkhead. But because we've pinned it together, it's now sharing the load over all of it. So probably more than double as strong. That one in there. Hopefully I've put these in the right way round. Because if I put them in the wrong way round, it might hit somewhere. But we'll see. That in there. And then we need a nut to go on there. Any new Nitro videos? I have got some planned. When they're going to come out, though, I have no idea. Nicholas goes moving soon. Yep, moving soon. To the Isle of Man. A fair tax system. Really low crime. People respect the place. There's not litter everywhere. Lovely place. I couldn't think of anywhere else I'd rather live. On like that. Make sure it all still moves nice. Yep, all moves good. And then just make sure these are tight. Uh oh. What's your thoughts on N MJX? Yeah, good. Do they still do the TT motorbike racing there? Yes, they do. Can't wait to see that in the summer. <laughs> I'm not really into motorbikes, but that's going to be. Something else. All right, I'm just going to clear the table. We don't need any more. All right, so I think we've done the worst of it now. Should everything, it hasn't even been hard yet. Everything's been easy so far. That in there. Still wanting to buy an extra 300. Yes, I went and had a look at an extra 330 the other day, actually. An LX, extra 330 LX. It's not very old, actually. It looks brand new. Uh, I, I went up there with the intention of buying it, but the dude's not fully sure yet if he's going to sell it or not. So he's going to let me know in January sometime. So if, he, if he's selling it... Uh, then I'm going to get it. I can't fly it yet, though, but <laughs> it'll give me more motivation to learn to fly. And there's a few stunt pilots up at the field that I learned to fly at anyway, so I'm sure some of them will take me out in it. It's got two seats. Have you owned a Tamiya Fog? No, I haven't. Stance on metal suspension arms. I would stay away from metal suspension arms, personally. Because you want some flex when you crash. You want something to flex or break. If you make this so strong that it's not going to break, you're going to smash something else up that's going to be more expensive and harder to fix. 
So metal arms, for me, nope. But many people disagree with me. They say, no, 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 metal arms are good. Well, my answer to that is, if, if you think they're good and it puts a bigger smile on your face, then go ahead and do it. Let the next guy do it whichever way he wants to do it. You know, I've, 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 um, I used to be on a lot of Facebook groups, but I've left almost all of them because there's so much people calling each other names on there and and people trying to say, oh, I'm as better or Traxxas is better or you're doing it wrong and like, I'm better than you, blah, 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 all that crap. End of the day, if you've got a smile on your face, you're doing it right. Nobody can argue with you. But people do. They try and argue with you. You always get people to say, oh, you're doing it wrong, you're doing it wrong. So, so, whatever. All right, that is in. And then, got to lock off that screw there that we just locked tight a minute ago. Not too tight, because I've snapped that off before. And then we've got to put the spacers back in. We'll do that in a sec. Just want to get the rest of it assembled. So we've got to put this back on. When you're putting these on, guys, do not push it on like that. Because if this moves, you're going to put that rod here straight for your thumb. I've done it before. So don't do it. I mean, you can if you want, but I wouldn't. <laughs> Clever people learn from other people's mistakes. You know, it's good to learn from your own mistakes, but smart people learn from other people's mistakes. That is so true in business as well. It is good to learn stuff, and you do learn stuff the hard way. But your life's not long enough to learn everything from experience. So some stuff you want to learn from others. You know, sometimes it can be deadly if you don't learn from others. You know, like when you're crossing the road, you know, everybody knows if you get run over by a car, it's going to hurt and you might die. So that's something you can learn from others. If you had to learn that yourself, then you probably won't live very long. All right, so you can put these spacers. Oh, man, these are fiddly. I don't even know why they bother with these. Why don't they just not have it and just make the arm a bit wider so you don't need it? I know what they're for. It's for if you want to change setup. But I want a basher, really. I've got no interest in changing too much setups on a basher. I just want it strong. That's why I like the X Max as well. You can't, you know, on armors you can adjust everything. You can do all your cambers and your casters and and all that adjustability, which some people love all that. And you know, and if you do like it, then perfect. But for me, I'm not interested with all that. I just want it for maximum durability. And all this stuff here we've got to fiddle about more. To me, I don't like it on a basher. Right, that is that done. Next up, we have this. M2C chassis press, which goes on. I think you come off with that one there. Yeah, that's it. That is it. And then it comes, it does come with screws in there as well. So, do we need to use those? That in there. Right, so that one's the one that goes in the chassis. That one's the one that goes on there. It's got a nut on there you can put on the bottom. Uh, they can be really fiddly to put on. And not at this stage. It should be relatively easy to put on. But, oh, have I made a mistake? Might well, have done a slight boo-boo there. I've still got to get these on. Hmm. Right, anyway... See, when I'm doing it live, I can't edit out bits if I do it wrong. You guys can see all my mistakes live. Oh, damn it. See, that would have been edited out. <laughs> I would have edited that out and then done it again. It would have just been... <laughs> Any updates on Monster Jam? I'm ready for a meet and greet. <laughs> I'd love to do Monster Jam one day. I am planning to go to America, possibly in spring. Right, we can get that on there. 
And I've been chatting with one of the teams. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say or not, so I'm not going to say what team, but I've been chatting with one of the teams about driving one of their trucks for a couple of shows. Right now, oh, I don't know, I'm not going to bother putting that on because the screw's not really long enough to, to reach the nylock piece. And if you ever have to take that off again, it's going to be a lot harder if you've got a nut on the bottom. So I'm not going to bother with that nut on the bottom of that one. We'll leave that off. Right, I should have put these back on. Gravedigger's got like four trucks or more. Yeah, they've got more than four trucks. They've got loads. All right. Oh, I should have put these on before I put the arms back on. See, I can't get I can't get to it now. Got top arms in the way. Hopefully. Can we get to it? Oh, I might be able to just do it. Yeah, I think we can just do it. Yes. On this side. Brand spanking new. Says Rhino. Yep, everything is brand spanking new. And you can win it. Any of you guys watching can win this actual car. Brand new. Not even going to use it. I'm going to plug it in to make sure it works and that'll be it. But I am going to put another one together that I am going to use for myself. Thoughts on tracks is this continuing the E-Revo 2.0, someone says. I'm not a fan of it, really. So it doesn't bother me. I know some people really love them. And I suppose if loads of people were buying them, then Traxxas wouldn't discontinue it. But I'm guessing not many people buy them. Because, you know, I always preferred the Creighton, I prefer the Sledge. There's a lot of cars I prefer than the E-Revo. You know, Mini Max. Mini Max is way better than the E-Revo, I would say. And the new version 2 is about the same size anyway. Right. Next, we've got a... Oh, we've got these. Uh, how easy are they going to be to put in, though? These, these are bump stops. Let's see. We'll take that out of there. And then the M2C ones. They're a bit smoother so they don't eat into the chassis so much. So hopefully that will go in there. Yep. And then you've got to undo it from this side yeah so that's going in I don't really use bump stops on bashers or the droop screws they're more for racers really you don't really tend to use them so much in, in bashing what they do the idea behind them is is that they limit your suspension travel coming down but in bashing you don't really want to I mean some people say you should do it because they believe that it saves everything moving too far but it doesn't really because it's so close so close to there that any any sort of push on that is all going to flex across there anyway it's going to flex that far anyway you're not saving anything but people do argue with me and say no 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 you've got to have them in there it, it works it works it's, you've got to have them in there and it's like again i'm not arguing if you believe it helps your car and it puts a bigger smile on your face with a hobby. Absolutely, you go ahead and you do it. But don't tell me how I should do my hobby. I'll do my I'll do my hobby my way, and you can do your hobby your way. I don't believe that these help durability one bit, bit not at all. But you know, it's my opinion, and everybody is entitled to their own opinion. We've all got different opinions, but one thing I'm not going to do is argue over it because I don't really care what, what the next person's opinion is. If someone tells me that these do work and make it more durable, I'm not going to argue, because I don't care. Right, next up, we've got these. So these on the armour, they come loose all the time. So we need two of those. And 
two of those per side. Uh, M2C make this little tool here, which is really handy for getting these out. I've drilled a hole through mine so you can put a wrench on it, make it even easier. I'm not really sure. I mean, I know how you could do You could put a wrench on there and turn it, but I find it easier just, just to drill a hole. Then you can put any wrench you want in there then. So I'll put a hole in there on mine, and then I can just go like that, look. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. What is the worst RC car, says Alan. Uh, associated MT10 is a good contender. That's really up there. See, so these things here, if it focuses, it's got... I mean, the armor one's got an O-ring. It's got some attempt to locking it in there, but it doesn't really. These M2C ones, it's, it hasn't got a thread all the way. It stops. So that metal embeds itself into the plastic and makes it really tight. That's right, so in with that. And you want to do it as tight as you can, but it, it still moves nice. So you just do it. Do it while it's still moving nicely. There's gone tight. Back it off a bit. Perfect. The idea is it moves lovely and you haven't got any floppage going on that way. Are you going to try for off-road record again? Off-road speed record? Yeah, I think someone beat me with that, didn't they? Uh, yeah, I'll, I, um, I'll give that another go at some point. We've got a massive long sand beach on the Isle of Man. I might try it on there. I mean... My record kind of was on grass, but, you know, I can do one on sand as well, can't I, if I want? That in there. All right, the whole build should go quicker now, after this. I think this is, we've done the worst of it now. Have you tried a Vanquish crawler? I haven't, actually. Someone goes, Lossy or Rival? What do you mean, uh, what Lossy and what Rival? <laughs> that would dictate it massively. Uh, Buds goes, technically that's off-road. Yeah, it is. But if it's so smooth, like the Bovril Salt Flats, I don't class it as off-road. For me to be off-road, it's got to be bumpy. If it's perfectly smooth, to me, it doesn't count. But that's only my opinion. To some people, it does count, and that's fine. And again, I'm not going to argue over opinions. You know, people are welcome to their opinion. I'm welcome to my opinion. And I'm happy to hear your opinion. And if you want to hear my opinion, I'll happily tell you. But one thing I'm not going to do is argue about opinions. Because no other party is ever going to change their opinion anyway, so what's the point? Why argue? There's literally no point at all in arguing someone's opinion. Tell me your opinion, fine. Tell me why you feel that way, fine. But to argue about it, nah, get out of here. Any Max upgrades you recommend? Max is a pretty good out the box. I'm not sure if you really need to do anything to them. Uh, don't know really. Mine's, I think mine's stock. Crawling is like watching paint dry. Bashing and truck racing is what's up, says Scott. Do you know what? I thought that. I thought that as well until I tried crawling and then I really loved it. So don't knock it till you tried it. I thought the same with drifting as well. I thought, how boring is that, RC drifting? And then I had a go and it's all right. I mean, I'm not massively into it. I mean, I did enjoy it, but I can't see myself getting too into it. I mean, I'll do the odd video. There's an RC drifting club on the Isle of Man. I'll, I'll be going there, but I, I can't see myself getting into it. But you never know. Never say never. Maybe I will. Right. That is front end complete. No, it isn't. Tell a lie. Shocks are not back on it yet. Uh -huh. So these bits go in there. And then that bit goes on there. Right, give us a thumbs up in the comments, guys, because 
Doing this build with the camera in the way is making it 10 times more difficult. So give us a thumbs up in the comments, guys, on the thing. It's only one little click of a button and it helps the algorithm share the video. There you go. A lot of people always ask me, how can I donate to your channel? Because I, uh, I took the donation thing away. Because I don't feel comfortable taking money from you guys if I don't give anything back in return. So, I've taken away the option to donate and instead just give a thumbs up. You help push the video, job done. Everybody happy. So at the minute we've got 731 viewers and only 427 thumbs ups. Come on guys, let's see if we can at least match it. I don't often beg for likes, but occasionally it's nice to get a few more views. Right, uh oh. Right, that goes on there. Then that goes on there. That goes on there. Hopefully. Maybe, maybe not. Ah, oh, damn it. Will you do a toy and V8 engine project? Ah, oh, I want to. If I can get the engine working, reading through the comments, so many people have complained about it not working properly. That, well, I'm going to send it back to the company I got it from. If they, if they can get it running or send me one that works well, great, happy days. If not, then I'll probably find a different engine to put into it. But I definitely want to do it. I think it's a really cool project. Someone did actually put a four-cylinder one in there, and that ran really nice. I forgot what his channel name is, but he's done a really good job of that. Maybe I've got to do something like that. But I wanted it V8, really. Stock piston upgrade, says Cliff. Ah, uh, dude, I could do. I showed them a bit earlier. I do have them there. However, these are a handling upgrade and not a bashing upgrade. And I don't really care about handling. So for me personally, I'm not going to put them in. Because I'm a basher. I don't care about handling. I just want it. I'll, all I want is maximum durability. That's all I care about when it comes to bashing, really. And I hate taking shocks apart. There's oil everywhere. It's so long and fiddly. You guys on the stream will be definitely bored if I start doing shocks. But whoever wins this truck... You will get these as well. So if you want to put them on, you can. If you want to mess about with your handling. I just can't be bothered to put them on. <laughs> right. That is the front end done. I mean, we've got this bumper to go back on. But the chassis has got to really go on first before we can put that back on. And uh, oh, actually, we could put that chassis on now, couldn't we? I think. I think we can put that chassis on now. All right. Quick little sippage of some chicory. Lovely jubbly. Someone said sausage raminator. RC Man actually said about doing a sausage raminator. You should get the TRX4 Mini High Trail. I did. Let's take you next door. I'll show you a few toys that we've been playing with recently. Have a quick little tea break and then we'll carry on. So, yeah, I've got the High Trail one there, look. Uh, which one is it? It's one of them. I don't know what one. It's one of them. And I've also got the Land Rover. This one's a blue one, so I want to make this one look like Andy the Landy. I've got these little Charisma Rally cars. So I want to build a little miniature rally stage and then get a load of people together and, and do like a four-man rally race. So a video that I'm going to do with these, I'm going to do it as well with the Axial SCX24. This is the long wheelbase one. And also, I've got this Banggood Special Defender here, we we'll do that in the same video. We've got a lossy, the new mini lossy, whatever it's called. I forgot what it's called. Lossy mini something or other. You can put a comment down below if you know what that's called. And, uh, well, it does say on the box, doesn't it? But I've got other stuff on top of it. Oh, God knows. It's, it's a mini lossy anyway, and that's a new brushless one. And then here is my other big rock. This is the one that I'm using, the red one. This one's going to get the same treatment, and when you guys win that competition, you can choose between that one and the one that I'm building live now in this video. Uh, this Creighton got completely destroyed. This is such a mess. The bulk has got ripped off. The thing's done. But got a load of upgrades coming for it, and we're going to turn it into like a retro street basher. 
Uh, this one here is another truck that you can win. I've done a video on this. This is a Outcast Extreme Bash 8S. That's got all the M2C stuff on it. And this one actually, competition for that is coming to an end at the end of this month. One of you guys are gonna get that and I'll ship it to you for free anywhere in the world. Send Rally car. That one's gonna go 6S. And then we got the Tamiya Blitzer Beetle. I'm gonna build this one live on the channel. If there's any other Tamiyas that you guys wanna see being built on the channel, let me know. But I'm thinking of doing, because I've done that Tamiya lorry, that done really well. So if there's any other sort of kits you want me to build live, I might well do it. Avanti Black Edition, we're gonna build that one live. Uh, Infraction, it's gonna go into a Formula One car. Here, I've got a Barbie car, which I don't know what to do yet with. Someone says make it nitro. Uh, I, I was going to make it into a burnout car, but we could make it nitro or drift car. But the thing is, I want to keep the space inside for the Barbies to sit. So uh, a bit limited in space of what we can do with that one. So we'll see what happens with that. We've got a Tesla Cybertruck ready to run, but I'm going to make it hobby grade and make it really good. Uh, X-Max there, look, I've got to fix that. We're going to make this one 12S actually. And a bit more work on the monster truck I've got to do as well soon. Oh, and this car here, my friend Andy, if you're listening, Andy, put a comment in the comments so people can go and check out your channel. That's the one that got run over and hit the wall. Andy fixed it. No parts allowed. So you can watch that over on Andy's channel. All right. Let's get that chassis on there. How do I prefer my RC car for snow? I'll just put paddle tyres on, that's all I'll do. We really just want to make sure that they're fairly waterproof. Hold on, got runny nose. All right. It's not gone. All right, here we go. M2C Mojave chassis. These things are made from 70-75 aluminium. Uh, these are just more droop screws in there, but we've already got those already, so we don't need them again. So it says on there Mojave because Big Rock has got a Mojave chassis. These things are so much stronger than stock. These stock chassis, they have a habit, habit of bending really easily, and especially these longer ones. The longer they get, the easier they bend. Now, as with any chassis, you can still bend them. If you go completely nuts on these, it will still bend. The same as on plastic chassis and any other RC component, doesn't matter what component you look at, everything is breakable. You push it hard enough, you'll break everything. So you'll, you'll never make an RC car completely unbreakable, but the goal is, is to make them a lot stronger. You want to go out and have a whole day's bashing and hopefully it all survives. And the stronger you make it, the more likely it is to survive. Right, next up, where are we at? So we've got to put the bulk, front bulkhead back on. Just getting some screws, right. Uh, I think these here were the screws that hold it all on. Come on guys, let's get the thumbs up to the same as the viewers. I'm working around the camera here, making it 10 times more difficult. Right, so when we put the servo back on, I've got to make sure to root the wire underneath because so many times I've done all that and then the wire's in the wrong place. All right, so that back on there, that upside down. Uh, right, so these are for the servo posts. Kev, does size matter? It depends who you ask and what it is. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. All depends for what. When it comes to my chicory cup, size definitely matters. The bigger it is, the more chicory you can get in there. Right, that on there. Kev, what are your thoughts on the Ultimate Traxxas XRT and X-Max? Uh, hopefully I can get one. In, uh, limited editions, not everyone can, can get hold of one. So I'm hoping I can get one. They look really nice. However, with most of the upgrades on there, I'm not sure how many you'd actually buy. So it depends if they're upgrades that you would buy. 
then it is definitely worth getting. Right, here we've got something going on. I'm not really sure how you're supposed to rectify it because, oh, I can see now. Oh, I've done something wrong again. You see these pins? I put it going through that way, but now I can't put a screw through there to get this bumper back on. So I would have to get a nut on the other side of that and I can't, so I've got to take it apart again. There we go. The joys of doing videos live. You guys can watch me do it all twice. Kev, where is Stemp? I don't know where Stemp is. Actually, I don't know where any of my friends are. I don't, I don't really keep tabs of where they are. The only time I know where my friends are is if they're with me. <laughs> Otherwise, I have absolutely no idea. All right, so... Oh, damn it. Oh, why me? Why me, Lord? Why? Uh... Uh, all right. Let's get me spanners. Noah in the house. How you doing, mate? Hope you had a good Christmas. Have to come up bashing soon. Rape Midnight Pumpkin. I'll let you do that, dude. I've never had one. <laughs> I'll let you rate it. Come on. Right, that one. Ah, what a donut. Oh, no. I'm not even going to be able to pull that pin out, am I? I'm not going to be able to pull it out or, or put it back in. Oh, man. Oh, I'm going to take it all apart again. Ah, no. No, hopefully we can take this, hopefully we can take that off of there. We can just move it out the way enough. Hopefully, hopefully this will come off. Hopefully. No worries, Noah, I will do. We'll have to go out for a bash soon. I've got, I've got one of these to take out soon for a bashing. Whenever you want, really. Right. Right. Yeah, we can, yeah, that'll work. That'll work. There we go. Panic over. Not the end of the world. There's a lot worse things in life than an RC not fitting together properly. Come on, guys. You're being a bit tight with these thumbs up. We want to get the thumbs up to the same level as we have viewers. Then I'll shut up about it. Once we get it up to the same level as the viewers, I will shut up about it. It doesn't cost you a penny. It's free. Right. Uh, uh, there. Right, people giving the thumbs ups. People putting the thumbs up in the comment. I meant in the actual, the thumbs up button. <laughs> uh, but no worries, I appreciate you all anyway. All right, that in there. Right, now hopefully that's going to work. That on there. That on there. Oh, man. Yeah. I'll tell you what, bloody back's aching as well now, bent over this camera. Come on, guys, that's got to be worth thumbs ups, isn't it? Got 783 viewers, and we've only got 651 thumbs ups. Come on, people, don't be tired. It's Christmas, man. Come on, don't be stingy. Don't be stingy at Christmas. <laughs> Welcome, old RC, gave a thumbs up. Give it, give a thumbs up on the actual thumbs up button, not in the comments, please. <laughs> All right. Well, that's how it should go. Hopefully, we can still get this bumper on there, and it's not going to get in the way of anything. Yeah, perfect. Right. Now, now 
Don't be stingy. Where's the nitro crawler? <laughs> nitro crawler is actually being worked on by Jason at Redfin Models. And he's done quite a bit on it. So that will be out soon. Really cool project. I would have liked to have done it sooner. However, the long projects kind of get put off because, you know, when I'm making videos, I'll, I'll try and get four videos a week out, even though it, doesn't, it never happens. But if I've got to spend like a couple of months doing a Nitro RC crawler build, then that means you're not going to get any other videos for a whole entire two months. And then everyone's going to be like, where's the videos? Where have you gone? What's going on? Why there's no videos? So it's very difficult. So when these projects kind of come to a grinding halt and it starts becoming tricky, you've got to kind of weigh it up. Is it worth spending a couple of months on one video? Or is it better just to put it on the back burner and concentrate on other videos? What do you guys reckon? What do you guys reckon? Let me know in the comments. What do you reckon? Shall I spend two, shall I spend two months on the Nitro Crawler and no other videos and get it done? Or would you rather see two months worth of other videos? What would you rather see? End of day, whatever you lot want is what you get. Moonshine says two months. He'd rather have spent two months on that and not made any other videos. <laughs> Hell no, more videos. Two months, get the thing going. <laughs> two months worth of other vids. Yeah, what would you guys rather have? Two months of other vids or two months of one crawler vid? Man, it's tipping it down outside. Jesus. Yeah, everyone say more video. See, there you go. And you've got to remember as well, YouTube is my job. And one video is probably going to not pay nowhere near as well as like two months worth of other videos. But the Nitro Crawler will come, so don't worry, it will come. We have been doing a bit of work on it. Jason at Redfin's got it in a minute, so it will come. Yeah, see, everyone's saying two months of normal videos, see? Variety is the spice of life, there you go. Cliff goes both. See, I'm only one person. I haven't got time for both. But luckily, Jason's helping out, so you will get both. Do the Nitro Crawler on live. Jesus, no way, dude. No way. I can't do that live. It's so much messing around, so much faffing. Two-month live stream. No one's going to watch that, dude. That's literally how long it's going to take. It would take probably two months. And then even then there's no guarantee. It might still not work. I mean, if it was guaranteed two months and guaranteed to work, oh, man, I it's getting custom. Oh, man, it's just... Man, it's long. I could build a whole entire monster truck in a couple of months. You know, sometimes you've got to get your priorities right. You know, I could build a whole entire monster truck or an RC crawler. <laughs> is Nitro X Max possible? Yes, everything's possible. All depends if you've got the will to do it. Ah, oh, hold on, I forgot to put this back on. I think the biggest issue making the X-Max Nitro would be trying to work out the braking mechanism. You forgot the steering post. Yeah, I know, dude. I'm just putting it back on now. Right, there we go. That's all back together. Now, that back on there. We can get the front end back on. And then I think we'll move on to the centre section. And then finish off with the rear end. That's what she said. Someone goes steering first. Uh, well, it's on there now, dude. 
you can do it in any order you like, really. Some people just trip the whole car down in one go and do everything all in one go, but I, I like to do it in stages. Because that way, look, I haven't got too many spare parts laying around. It's quite easy to know where everything goes. If you've done the whole entire car in one go, there'll be bits absolutely everywhere. There'll be piles of screws everywhere. And it's going to be a lot more difficult. Just boom it. Ah, oh, dude. <laughs> I should do, actually. Right, should we boom it? Yeah, solid. Let's boom it. All right, here we go. You ready? You ready? You ready? Come on, right. You ready? You ready? Not working. <laughs> Not today. Not working today, dude. Sorry. For shame. I mean, it doesn't always work. The boom sometimes works, but not always. I've not managed to make it work live yet. Well, you only say someone gets, says you haven't. You didn't say boom. You only say boom if it's actually worked. If it hasn't worked, you don't say boom. Uh, right. Three screws there. Right, so two of those screws will go in the bottom. Two of those in there. Good. I'm going to go out. Kev, what do you think about buying used RC cars? I only like to buy used if you can't buy it new anymore. I mean, if you know what you're looking at, sometimes you can find a bargain. But if you're just going to buy an X-Max off of eBay and you don't know how good condition it is, it's probably, or, you know, often it's going to end up costing more putting it right than it would be just to buy a new one. So if you know the X-Max or you know the RC car and you know it's a good deal, there's some bargains to be had. But be careful. I've, I've bought a used helicopter before because it seemed a good deal, but then the engine died and then the fuel tank there was something wrong with the fuel tank and the engine kept cutting out and I crashed it a couple of times and it worked out cheaper in the end just to buy a new one. So careful buying used unless you can get a blinding deal. Silver says hi from Canada. Hello, dude. Is buying second-hand nitro worse than buying second-hand electric? Oh, probably, yeah. There's a lot more to go wrong on nitros. But if you want a vintage, sometimes... The only way you can get it is second hand. What do you call glove box? Oh, we call it a glove box as well on the car. Oh, hold on. Oh. Next boo-boo there. Idiot. Idiot. What am I playing at? Why didn't you tell me? Someone goes, when will you fly the plane do you have? I should have put them two screws in as well. Uh, question is, where are those screws? Uh... Oh, they're here. Got them. Got them. Got them. One there, one there. Uh, is that the right screw? I don't want to put one in, in this too long. Right, let's check. Oh, yeah, that's the right screw. All right, a bit tight, though, so I think if I loosen... These again. You shouldn't really tighten any screws until you've got them all in, really. Right, there we go, there we go, we're getting there. Yeah, Noah says they're notoriously difficult to put in when they're new. Yeah. Right, remind me to do those up again in a minute. 
Uh, we've got to put these little small screws in there. And then, it looks bleeding tight. Bleeding tight, I'm gonna try and get a nut under there. Try and get a nut under there. Wow, man, this is tight. Jesus. And you lot are in the way. Let's put you lot on here. When you're doing fiddly stuff, having a camera in the way does not help one bit. It makes it worse. So I'm putting these screws back in. I'm like, is there even enough room to get the nut on? There might not even be enough room to get that nut on there, you know. You got it? No, it might just might just have it. Might just have it. Man, that is tight. It's tighter than a duck's buttocks, and that's watertight. Right, we've got it in, so we've got to do is tighten it up. Man, that is tighter than a duck's buttocks. <laughs> Someone goes Max 4S or Outcast 4S. Ah, oh, they're both pretty good, really. I'd say that the Max is more expensive, but a little bit tougher. V8 engine update. I've just done one, dude. If you wind back the stream a bit, I don't really want to keep saying the same stuff over and over because it's going to bore people that have been here from the start. So if you wind the stream back a bit, there'll be an update there. And there's also going to be a Today in Talbot Shop video coming out later. And there's a full update on there. All right. Have you ever been to Netherlands? No, I haven't. Ke hey, Kev. Just got a cat, what should I name him? Name him Kevin. <laughs> what do you reckon? What do, what, what do you reckon everyone? So mostly Cloudy's got a new cat, what should we name him? So everyone in the comments, help him choose a name. I, I vote call him Kevin. <laughs> this is tight dudes. This is tighter than, man, look at this. Look how tight that is. So I'm trying to do this nut up here and there's not enough space there to get a wrench on it. And man, that is tight. Look at that, look at that. We'll get there, but it is tight. Man. Yes, yes. Call him Basher. <laughs> yeah, you could call him Basher. All right, that's that one done. Now we've got to turn it round and do the other side. But before that, a quick little swiggage of the chicory. Nick says, what are your thoughts on the Pro Moto? Absolutely love them. If you like motorbikes, or even if you don't, if you think they look cool on video, they look even cooler in person, get one. So this one's a video I'm doing at the minute. This one's got all the aluminium upgrades from Trill. And that one there's stock, but that one's gonna go 6S. Nick says, call him Uggadugga. That's a good name. <laughs> All right, now we gotta do the same again. This little fiddly one here. Now it goes, what happened to the long Typhon? I've still got it, it's up there, look. Ready to rip, nothing wrong with that. Oh man, fiddly. Man, if you think this is frustrating watching, you imagine trying to do it. Someone goes, where is Max? Oh, I spoke about that earlier, dude. I've got no idea where my friends are. Unless they're with me, I have no idea where they are. I don't keep tabs on friends. It's a bit creepy to try and know where everyone is. So... I only know where they are when I'm with them. Right, next up, we've got 
two screws to put back through here. No, nope. uh, wrong other dagger. Put X Max tires on laminate. Oh, dude, that look tiny. Oh, why are you not going? Don't start battling me. Not with the camera in the way. Do not battle me with the camera in the way. I'm not up for that at all. Oh, I'm getting battled. All right, camera out the way. Come on, guys, thumbs up. We've got 825 viewers. You want to get the same thumbs up? So much more difficult to do when you're doing it live. So you've got to try and make it not boring, and at the same time you've got to try and make everything fit. And you're walking around, working around the camera as well. So come on, guys, thumbs up. We need to get the same viewers as thumbs ups. So you've only got a few to go. Oh, by the way, if any of you guys are not subscribed. If you subscribe, then you can participate in the comments as well. And subscribing is also free. A lot of YouTubers don't, or not YouTubers, YouTubers know, but I mean a lot of YouTube viewers don't actually know that subscribing is free. There's a click on it, that means you're subscribed. You get more of my content will come up. And once you're fed up with me, you can unsubscribe again. Alright. There. Did you order a JTO 3.3? Um, I've ordered one ages ago, but it must be out of stock. Cat name 2S. <laughs> yeah, you could do that. Yeah. Right, that in there. And nut on top of there. I like to leave this nut here always longer, the bolt, because sometimes when you bash really hard, you snap this off the chassis. And if you snap that off flush, it's really difficult to get out. If you've got it long like that, when it's snapped off, at least you can get that on there and unwind it. I didn't bother with any Loctite on there for that reason as well, so it's easy to get it out. It's got a nut on top anyway. So you can crank that down like that. Boom. All right. That is phase one done, and probably the trickiest part of all of it. It should get easier now. We've got steering work in. We've got M2C bits in there. M2C standoffs. Got the M2C brace there and there. But not the shock tower, because the one that we got here don't fit. All right. Does anybody know in the comments, before I start taking this one apart, will... The M2C one fit it. Will the M2C one fit round all this stuff that's on there? It's got all this stuff here. Um, mm. It might fit, I don't know. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments. Will the fire team alloy tower fit onto the big rock M2C one? It looks like it should. I mean, it'll definitely fit on the bottom, because that's what it's made for. But then on the top... Hmm. I reckon it will. I reckon it will. I'm not sure, though. If anybody knows in the comments, let me know if that will fit or not fit. Because otherwise I'm not going to waste my time even trying if it won't fit. Right, quick tidy up. I've got to um, put some of the tools back. Because it's a lot easier to work on your stuff when it's tidy. When you've got stuff everywhere, it makes it so much harder to work on stuff. Right, that there, that there, that there, that we don't need anymore, that in there, that there, that there, that there. Right, talking to myself, don't worry. A quick little tidy up on the bench, and then we'll carry on. Big Rock on fire team, the same car. Yeah, I think they are now, but the body mounts are different. There's a few little bits that are slightly different. I'm just putting this stuff back that I don't need anymore because this is going to make it just a bit easier to wrench. Right, that done. 
that done, let's put you up on the bench here so you can see a bit more. Change the view a bit, keep it interesting. Centre section. Here we go. So from the centre section, we, I think, all of it is going to go straight onto there. I don't think there's any M2C bits that we use. I mean, they do do an aluminium ESC tray, but that's more if you've got like big ESCs and stuff. Or you can put a different ESC on there. Because I'm keeping this hobby, not hobby wing, it's hobby wing inside, but the firmer ESC on there, the stock plastic tray can stay. But whoever wins this, I'm going to include that so that if you ever get a different ESC, you can put it on. So the main thing we're going to have to change here is Razzie's servo. So we're going to open that in a minute, wherever it's gone. There we go. Perfect pass servo, one of my favourite servos. I use it in most of my RC cars nowadays. Loads of power, loads of torque, fairly fast, about point 0.1 on the speed. Not the fastest, but it's more than quick enough. Loads of torque, 57 kilos of torque. Often, a, a more torquey servo is going to be faster than a fast servo. Because if you have a really fast servo, the torque's not there. It's going to be even slower than what a slower servo is with lots of torque. So this goes pretty much as fast as you can do it anyway. So especially for bashing, perfect. Right, waffle, waffle, waffle. Centre section off. So we've got the ESC tray. Ah, do you know what? Put that on, I shouldn't have done because all of it goes through there. Right, well, let's get it off anyway. So I do believe that all these little screws that go in the bottom, I think they're all the same size, I think. So we can just whip them all out. Oh, actually the servo ones are longer. Tell a lie. Servo ones are longer. And we've got to remember as well which way around the servo goes. So we've got servo horn to the front. Right, remember that people, servo horn to the front. Shane in the house, hey what's up man? How you doing dude? Put a perfect pass. Yes, we're putting perfect pass in there dude. D says Kevin's perfect pass servo and everything. It's good as a good servo, dude. It works in almost everything. I've never broken any gears. I've only ever broken one perfect pass servo. I jumped it probably 40 foot in the air, maybe higher, and it landed straight on a metal railing, right under the right under the servo. And all oh, oh. it landed so hard with a metal chassis that it bent the metal of the case out and all the electronics shot out the bottom. But landings like that kills everything. I mean, as I said earlier, nothing, nothing is fully indestructible. Everything can break. Right. So we've got electrics out. Like that. Uh, motor's got to come out as well. Now what I'm going to do on the motor, a lot of these are locked tighted in, so I'm going to go ahead first, get that on there, and break them off by hand. If you go straight in with the dagger, you've got to run a risk of stripping off these hexes. And by the way, if I do strip these off, that'll be the end of the live, because I'm not going to mess about doing them live. It's going to be drilling and messing about, and oh my god, uh, that'll be on a different day. So hopefully they'll come out. Armour have got habit of putting way too much Loctite in. But we got them, we're cool, we're good, we're good. Oh, I have got a lot better on their Loctite. They used to put so much in that uh, you just couldn't get the stuff out. It was awful. But they've solved it. For the most part, it's still, I'd still say there's too much Loctite in there, but you know, I would rather it be a struggle to come out in the shop than you out bashing and it falls out. Was the rockers in the V8 loose? Oh, I don't know, but something sounded loose, didn't it? Right, that's that out. This is rear. So I'm going to leave that shaft with this one so I don't get it mixed up. Let's ditch that off for a minute. And what I should have done here, 
not put this on. I do that every time. I always put this on and then forget that all the wires from the electronics have to go under there. So I'll take it off again now. Kipa says, that engine is so sick, man. <laughs> it does look cool, but what a pain in the butt to get running right. Way, Sugar says he's been a viewer for two years. Way, appreciate you, bro. All right. Let's loosen that one off as well. Yeah, that'll do now. Got him loosened off. So now we can go ahead, put this stuff sort of back in where it's going to go. So battery tray there, wires underneath, like that. That in the middle. Servo, we're not going to do just yet because we're going to replace it with one of Razzie's ones. ESC, we're not going to put back on yet because we've got to route the wires underneath this tray. Uh, so, you know what? We should probably change the servo first while we've got it like this. Probably make it easier to do that now. Yeah, All right. Let's move you back over here so you can see what's going on. Try Eco Power aluminium fans. I've had a trouble with Eco, uh, with fans, not Eco Power fans, with normal fans. They just break all the time. If I can find a fan that actually works, then I'll be happy to use them. It doesn't break on bashing. Right. This is the Perfect Pass Servo. Link to that down below. It's one of my favourite servos and my go-to servo now that goes in pretty much everything. They're waterproof. They're good for crawlers. They're good for speed running. Good for bashing. The only time I would use something else would probably be in racing where you get a servo that's perfectly specified to your car so you get the perfect speed speed and torque settings. I don't know if the servo horn is going to go on there. If not, I don't think I've got any. We could use that one or I'll have to buy an armour one and do that off camera because I haven't got any. <laughs> right. So 56 kilo, kilos of torque. I think I said 57 earlier, so I lied. So 56. Why is this camera not focusing? But anyway, 56 kilos of torque, all metal geared, all metal case. Take an absolute kick in. So we're going to put that in there. All right. So. Way do go says, love you, care. Thanks for everything. Thanks to all you as well for viewing and supporting the channel. All goes both ways. Without you guys watching the videos, there wouldn't be any videos. So we're all in it together. I get to do my dream job and you guys get to hopefully watch videos that you enjoy and be in a nice cool community. Appreciate all of you. Even the haters, I even appreciate the haters. They're all still viewing, they're still clicking, they're still commenting. They're still spreading the word. So, yeah. Love you all, guys. Uh, I was the first ever to watch you on YouTube, says Cody. <laughs> what was the first video you watched then, dude? All right. Uh, next, we've got to unwire it from the receiver box. Not that one. Ruben goes, Kev, you're the best. Ah, oh, thanks, dude. Appreciate all of you guys. Massive love to all of you. Right. Get the lid off of there. There's the receiver look. So servo is that one there for steering. So that one out, and then I want to try and route these wires back in exactly the same way as what they came out. So that's going to have to go, see where these wires go. I want them to go back in the same way. Hopefully we can remember. I'm doing this for you in the way. Oh no. <laughs> doing this for the camera in the way, it's making it all more difficult. So there's the love. 
There's all the love right there, people. Making my life difficult to give you guys videos. All right, there we go. That's out. And now the perfect pass servo in. Someone said, what's your next video about? I don't know yet. I've got, I'm actually working on 27 different videos. Uh, all right. How did it come out now? Right, that up there, that up there, right. So that one goes in there first, and then that goes in there. And then that one in, and that one in, hopefully. So, now, well, I'm going to have to move you now, because you really are in the way. You really are in the way now. This thing is fiddly. This is one of my worst jobs. I really hate doing this part of it. You've got to get all this lot to line back up again, all the wires, all the cables, all everything. Uh, this was forward, wasn't it? So I've got to turn this servo around still. So we've got to make sure we've got enough cable there. So I think we can still pull it, hopefully. So I think if we screw the ESC, I'm talking to myself here, but you guys are welcome to listen. That there, that there, that there. That through there. Make sure this all goes under there. Talking to myself like a weirdo. Kevin Talbot is the best RC blogger, says, um, sorry, I cannot read that name, dude. <laughs> Can you translate that name to English? <laughs> right, a uh, lot of rights going on here. That way around. And that goes there. Yeah, talking to myself like a weirdo, don't worry about me. Ah. So it goes one hour, 51 minutes. Is that how long we've been going so far? Bloody hell. I said two and a half hours originally, so we, oh, we could do it. I reckon we could possibly do it. Uh, I can't find a hole now. That's what she said. Ah, right, this is fiddly. This is the worst bit, I think. Once we've got this bit done and the electric's in, then I think it's going to go easy again. But this is the worst bit. You've got all these wires and all these components all flapping about everywhere. And you've got wires that you can't trap. This is definitely the worst bit. I can't find all the holes now. Where, where it went. Was it like that? Right, I think we got it. Right, where's my screws gone? Oh. Right, I'll go back with me in a minute. I'll try and battle this in. Will you build a Scania lorry, someone says. I'm building a... Uh, looks like a Kenworth fitness, call it the King Hauler. <laughs> boom done to Zach, I wish, on this part. This would definitely be a, this would definitely be a boom moment on video. Because you just can't get... You can't put the camera there. Where, where, where would I put the camera? If I, put, if I try and put the camera there... I can't see what I'm doing and further away. It's hard enough as it is with the camera up there. At the same time, try not to trap any wires and make sure that everything lines up. But we're getting there. I'm bitching over nothing, hey? <laughs> Sugar goes, I can watch you live stream all night. I hate going to school anyway. I'm hoping we're going to be done as soonish. Rock and Roller says, uh, you speak to Ian and Claire. Yeah, I saw them the other day. We went out bashing together. But I'm hoping to get this done. Hopefully half an hour. We've got the back end to do. Which isn't really much on the back end, really. I mean, we've got the shock tower to do and, and hinge pins. But we might be able to get it done in half an hour. Well, I said two and a half hours from the start, didn't I? So I want to see... See if I can do it in that time. 
What do you guys reckon? How long do you guys reckon it'll still take to get it done? From how many years are you in this field, says MX Chick. Uh, well, I've been into RCs all my life. I've got my first hobby grade one when I was probably about 10. I've still got it up there, actually. Uh, YouTube I've been doing for about seven years now. In there. Right. Next up, this oh, I bet this won't fit. Will that fit? Oh, it will fit. Result. Oh man, do you know what? Armour started off with 25 tooth servo splines. Pretty much all servos are 25 tooth, it's up for Tarba. Then they changed to crappy spectrum spline. Looks like they've changed back. Thank God for that. Because that was a pain in the ass. Every time you change their crappy servo, you have to buy a new horn as well or make something else work. So massive thumbs up to Armour for doing that. Appreciate that a lot. Right. Uh, so it comes with some spacers there to put under the servo, which we're going to use because the servo is really close to the chassis. So we're going to use that. Uh, we should, should we put the rubbers in? I don't know. I mean, it's debatable whether to put the rubbers in or not. Some people put them in, some people don't. You get better steering with them out. So, well, let's see. If if an M3 screw fits through the, if it was mine, I wouldn't bother. But because I'm given, because one of you guys are probably going to end up in this car yet, I will do it. It's probably going to be a bit kinder on the servo, but perfect pass servos are so hardcore anyway. I don't think. They would mind. The trouble is, it's making it a bit more long winded if I put that on there. Right, come on, off, Subway Horn, off with you. Right. Come on. Don't battle me. Stay there then. Right. So that on there. Christmas, Merry Christmas, Kevry! Merry Christmas to you two. Apparently, some people get offended when you say Merry Christmas. And what I say to that is good. Don't watch then. Don't come to a country where you celebrate Christmas if you're going to get offended. Simple as that. When you go to someone's country, you got to go with their traditions. And if you don't like it, don't go there. If, if a certain thing would offend me in a certain country, I just wouldn't go there. But nothing offends me anyway, really, so. Uh, that there. No, so when people say happy holidays, like, nope, it's Merry Christmas. That's what it is. Get offended, tough. Someone told me off because I put these in the wrong way around. I put them in from the top, but I don't know. I can't see how it matters. What does it matter? Can't see what it matters which way around you put them in. Apart from that, it's a lot easier to put them in from the top. Yeah, so they're going in from the top. Someone told me off in a video the other day, you put them in the wrong way around, you idiot. You're into RC, you should know which way around they go in. What difference does it make? The screw holds it all in once the screw's in. Um, I've always put them in this way around, I've never had a problem. Maybe, maybe they are the wrong way, I don't know, but I've always put them in this way, I've never had a problem. That's if I use them, I don't even normally use them. All right, screws back in. Lee Tun says, Merry Christmas, shout it out loud, yep. If you're living in a country where, you, where they celebrate Christmas, you bloody celebrate it. And the Wokies can kick our butts. Right, that in there, that in there, that in there. That in there, boom. Right, 
now, oh, damn it, I forgot to put the plastic spacers under it. Have you considered getting the Kraken 12 RTR thing? Yeah, I probably will end up getting one. No, little plastic spacers that go in there, you could leave them out, but I'll put them in because the servo is close to the chassis. And when you do big jumps, if the servo smashes into the chassis, that's how you kill them. Bro, what shell does your TRX4 underwater, boy? <laughs> that is a... I've got a C10 on it now, but before I had the Bronco. Proline Bronco. That in there, that in there, that in there. Boom. Boom. Don't want to go too tight on these, otherwise you crush all the all the rubber too much, I think. Right, that on there. And we've got the long screws that hold the servo in, which are these. Make sure all this lot can fit back together. Have we done that right? Yeah, we've got to put the front shaft in those. We can't put all that on just yet. But I just want to just mount the motor, mount the servo, and then we'll worry about, well, uh, yeah, servo first. Oh, just, just, just crack on and do it, Kev, come on. Just bloody waffling and get it done. And people keep saying, when we, when we fly your plane, soon. Soon, dude. But it's all windy and crappy, and I've got my big move coming. Well, I'm actually in the process of moving now, actually. I'm already started. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Looking for an apprentice. I will look for some employees on the Isle of Man. I just worked it out with all the money that I'll be saving on tax. I'll be able to employ, I think, 15 people just from what I'm paying in taxes. Imagine how, how much more work I'll get done with 15 people. So, yeah, once I'm all set up over there, I will be looking at taking on some people. Right, now... Uh, I think, yeah, I think we'll get the battery box back in next. So we get the wire in for the servo there. And then we've got to plug him in into port one. But it doesn't actually say port one, it just says steering on these spectrum receivers. So plug him back into steering. Are you getting Team Corelli? Kagama, whatever it's called. I don't know. I'm not a massive fan of them, but I probably will. Uh, actually, we'll put that on next because it might be easier to get the drive shaft in while it's like that. We get this centre brace back on though. Get that on. I was making it up as we go along here, guys. A lot of people ask me how do I know how to do it. So I don't. I'll just make it up as we go along. Just winging it, winging it, and hope for the best. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't think anyone knows what they're doing, do they? People pretend that they know what they're doing, but I don't think anyone actually knows what they're doing, do they? It's just one big wing, isn't it, life? You're just winging it. You're just winging your way through. Just winging it. When you go to job interview, you're just winging it, aren't you? You don't really know what you're doing here. You're just winging it. <laughs> That's what I'm doing here. Just winging it. Put it all back together again. Hopefully it works. that in there and then hope it doesn't all fall out that's a bit when it falls out you turn it upside down it all moves and it all falls out so i want to get two screws in first so i'm going to go with the plastic ones first with no loctite just to line it up and then i've got my other hands free to start loctite in 
Somebody spamming. If someone's spamming, then please don't. Because if you do, one of the moderators may block you. When you sit on a plane license, is that class is ringing it? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so I bet you most pilots, if I did the test again, they'd probably fail. <laughs> A bit of Loctite on these because these are a pain in the butt when they come loose. I'm not going to do it all the way up with the Ugga Dugga. I'll do most of it and then we go in by hand. Otherwise, you can do stuff up too tight and strip things with these things. For some reason, that screw never had any Loctite in it, even though it's going into metal. So, whichever armor person put that together, boo boo. Right, so we've got all those in now. So now, someone goes, English weather, so nice. Not. I'll tell you what, people do complain about the English weather, but I would say it's actually better than in most countries. So in the summer, it never gets too hot. In the winter, it doesn't really get that cold, really. We don't get extreme weather, so we don't get any earthquakes. We don't get any any twister storms and tsunamis and all that stuff. Don't get any of that. We don't get all the bushfires. We don't get all the nasty insects. We don't get no black widow spiders. We don't get all those scorpions. We haven't got any lions. We haven't got any bears. One thing that quite, you know, that I wasn't ready for when I went to America, you've kind of got to be careful where you go. You can't just get in your car and drive anywhere. You've got to sort of be a bit careful you know we wanted to go up into the mountains in vegas but people says don't just go you've got to, you've got to plan it let people know you're going you might not have any phone signal up there if you break down you might freeze to death but here in england you just drive anywhere you want and you don't even think about it so everything's got its pros and cons why is that not going back on Why are you not going back on? There's no bears in the UK. No, no bears in the UK. Do you know what? You can walk anywhere you want in the UK and you're not going to get attacked by any wildlife. Like nothing's going to attack you. Like nothing. There's no dangerous snakes. We haven't, there's no rabies. So, yeah, we do get more rain than a lot of places. But to make up for it, we don't get all the other crap. So, there's nowhere perfect, is there? I mean, let me know in the comments, guys. Where, where's the most perfect place in the world? The most perfect place that I've ever seen so far is the Isle of Man, from what I've seen. That's why I'm moving there. Oh, I've already started moving there. The tax monster is the only thing that bites. Oh my God, the English tax. Awful. American tax is just as awful. But do you know what? I do complain about the tax, but if if they put the tax money into making the countries better, I wouldn't mind. I'd be all for it, but they don't. It's like, I pay all these money taxes and I don't see anything back. I don't see anything. I mean, crime's getting worse and worse and worse. Litter on the streets everywhere. Everything's falling to bits, letting all these illegal immigrants in all over the place everywhere. And it's, it's sort of wonder, you're paying all this tax money and you get nothing. Health service is crap. Police don't come when you need them. I mean, it's terrible. I mean, if, if you paid all this tax, but you had like a really perfect country, I wouldn't mind. But we don't, so that's why I mind. Oh, where's that one go? But the thing is, you go to the Isle of Man, it's low taxes, fair taxes, and the country's almost perfect. Crime's almost non-existent, there's no rubbish everywhere, everything's looked after. So, you would have thought in a bigger country it should be more efficient. So taxes should be less in a big country, but they're not. It's like loads more. And you don't get anything, like nothing. Schools are crap. It's just, 
I know I'm going on a bit of a rant now, but you know. Right. So I'm not going to put this servo back on yet. Uh, because I need to centre it. So I'm not going to put the lid on yet until I've centred it neither. So we're going to keep this lid together. So back end on next. Then we can get the side guards on. Then we can plug in the electrics and make sure it works. And once that all works, then we can bung the wheels on. Now we we'll look at the finished product. Tiddy goes, health service is not crap, saved my life. Uh, some of the workers there were amazing, you know, but it's not fit for purpose though, is it? I mean, you try and see someone there now, you can't even get in. I, mean, I know a few people that need, need help with the NHS and they're, they're on the waiting list for so long. I mean, you are the man they haven't got a massive waiting list. Something's wrong with you, 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 you go straight in and get it fixed. Here in the UK, there's something wrong with you. You've got to wait for months and months and months. Your condition gets worse and worse and worse. All they try and do is force this safe and effective thing on you. Which, I don't know, probably not so safe and effective, is it? That was a big lie. And us idiots have got to pay for it all. Ah. Someone goes, it's beer o'clock. <laughs> Have fun beering. Right, so on this one, you've got to remember that those two screws go on and these two go after on with the skid plate. Right, I don't think I need to actually remove that. Or do I? Right, we will remove it. It's going to make it easier to get to it all. So this is bumper equipment. So we keep all this together with bumper equipment. We've got this from there. Oh, dropped it. I found it. Now people try and accuse me of being a tax dodger, but it's not illegal, is it? You can. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not dodging taxes, I'm still paying them. I'm just going to a country where it's fair taxes. And if a country you're in is not treating you well, it's probably best to leave. Right, that is the armour chassis off. Don't need that anymore. And then we've got that to go on. We've got stronger hinge pins to go on in the back. I don't know why there's no... In the kit, there's no metal 70-75 hinge pin blocks. Maybe on the back you don't need it. I know on the fire team you can't really use it because it's got a handbrake module in the way, but this one hasn't. Oh well. Anyway. No, yeah, I'm, I'm all for being legal. You know, everything I do, legal. Whatever taxes I've got to pay, I'll pay. You know, I don't, I don't do tax evasion. You know, that's illegal. But going to places where you're treated better and you pay fair taxes, fully legal. Operating fully within the law. And I encourage anybody else to do the same if you don't feel happy where you are. Right, so we've got here. We've got the M2C steel hinge pins, which are supposed to be stronger than the stock ones. So, put those in there. Is it legal though, Kev? Of course it's illegal. Why is it not legal? If you move to a different country, you pay their tax system. If I don't live in the UK anymore, and I'm not really here much, only visiting to see friends, it gets me out of the tax system. So I don't need to pay it. I'm legally not paying it. And you know, as I said earlier, I wouldn't mind paying it if it was fair. If they put that money into making the country better, I'd be all for it. I'd happily pay them what I'm paying now. But seeing that all they're doing is making the country worse and we've got to pay for it, no, it doesn't sit right for me, that. Not one bit.
So if you've got an opportunity to go somewhere and have a better life for yourself, go ahead and do it, man. Oh, Nicholas says, let's get to a thousand likes. Oh yes, come on, if you can. I, I bet you can't though. Oh, maybe actually. 50 likes to go, we're on a thousand. Inflated with masters goes to UK, the UK, pay taxes, Kev. Well, oh, I am paying it in a moment, but I won't be soon. Won't be paying it soon, dude. Once I'm set up there as an official resident, I've got six months to do it. I'll be on a fair tax system. So corporation tax over there, zero. Here, it's 25%. They take 25% away from your business tax. And there it's zero. Uh, capital gains tax, that's like if you have an asset and it goes up in value, you've got to pay tax here. Oh, the man, you don't. Zero. Uh, right. That out. And a nice M2C1 in. Oh, we're talking in the bits now. So that in first, then the spacer. Yeah, tiny goes dang, 25%. There, yeah, and then on top of that, you know, I was, I just bought a house over there. So obviously if I buy a house, it means I've got to pay myself. And if you pay yourself, the taxes here is over 50%. Over 50% they steal. Right, I think that is the back end done. We do have, some heavy duty drive cups. And they go on the differentials. On some armors, they break straight away. On other ones, I've never broken them ever at all. So I'm gonna keep these as spares. If they break, we've got spares. If they don't break, well, I'm gonna ship these off to, to whoever wins it. So if you break these, you can put them in. I'm not gonna put them in. Right, uh, I think we can put this. Oh, we've got a shock tower. Will that shock tower fit? Can Kev see this chat? Yeah, I can see it, dude. But I am concentrating on doing the build, so I can't see all of them. What's your favourite instrument? I like piano. All right, this should hopefully go on. So, all right, let's do it. Let's do it. So I think, I think what I'm going to do is take... Oh, man, that's a pain in the arse, isn't it? How are you supposed to... Those screws off there. Right, okay. So we've got four screws on the inside. So the way that that goes on is going to be that way. Right, okay, let's see if we can do this. Let's review Latrax. I've never had a Latrax. Might have to get one though. says how's your ebay shop going i don't do much on ebay nowadays and you know i'm moving to the isle of man and ebay isn't a thing to do on the isle of man you can you can do it the trouble is though you have to send everything from the island to the mainland and the trouble is when you do that you're not going to be able to compete with everybody else that can ship it for cheap I spend most of my time on YouTube now. E eBay is perfect for, for like a first business, uh, first business that you want to start online. eBay is perfect. You know, YouTube doesn't work for everyone. It can take years and years and years to work. It might work. It might not. If it works, happy days. But there's no guarantee. So I was fortunate enough when I started my YouTube channel. Uh, I'll concentrate here. 
I was fortunate enough when I started my YouTube channel that I had the money come in from eBay to fund my channel. It cost me a hundred grand to get this channel up and running. Or the main channel as well, you know, not just this one. Uh, right, how does that go on? And YouTube is a full-time job. I spend 16 hours a day, 14 to 16 hours a day on my YouTube channel. Now what screw hole does that go into? Top ones, top ones. Concentrating. You know, I spend about 16, 14 to 16 hours a day on my YouTube channel. If you've got a full time job, that is not happening. So with eBay, I was doing a, I was making about a hundred grand a year. And that's doing about two hours work a day. So that freed up the whole rest of my time to spend on my YouTube channel. And you know, to start off with, I made so much less money on on YouTube, I took a massive pay cut, but it was more fun. So it wasn't until very recently, actually, that the YouTube actually pays more now than eBay. Not not that long ago, that eBay eBay paid a lot more. So I still do a bit of eBay, obviously, because I sell the eBay course. So I've got to do a little bit just to stay on top of it, so I know what I'm talking about. But for anyone moving to an, on a small island, oh, well, it's probably not going to work too well. I think this looks like it's going to work. You need a Rode mic, someone says. Oh, I have got a mic. I tried it on the last live stream. When I had it clipped on ears, it was all flapping around and I'm knocking it and it ruins the audio. But what I can do though, I can turn you around on here. Turn the camera around that way. So I'm using the front screen because on the iPhone it records from the front selfie screen. On the, when you're doing live streams. So now you've probably got better audio. Is that better? How's that? When are you going to mod Andy the Landy? Oh, no, no rush on that one, dude. Andy the Landy will be modded, but I don't know when. You know, got, I'm just in the process of moving to the Isle of Man. So that is my priority at the moment to do that. I've got my flying lessons, that's another pro that's another priority. I've got to find a new workshop in the Isle of Man, that's another priority. So and in the land these can have to wait. Way better now. Hey, that's good. What is the geekiest RC to own? What do you guys reckon? What do you reckon is the geekiest RC? I reckon Hornby Railway. It's gotta be up there. Someone goes, Christmas RC burnout. <laughs> uh, I haven't got one planned. Andy Landy going to Isle of Man review. Yes, everything's going to the Isle of Man, dude. Monster truck, everything. Right, now, uh, I think I jumped the gun a bit putting this piece on because it looks like you've got to remove all that to get the shock tower off. Right, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see. Get some screws out of there then. That will be expensive move. William, yeah. It will be, but the amount of money I'm going to save on taxes, dude, I'll make it back in no time. <laughs> you know, the crime in this country is getting worse and worse and worse. Taxes are getting worse and worse. It's just everything's getting worse. Uh, time to go. Oh, hopefully. Oh, oh yeah, we can do it without taking that off. Cool. Right. Next shock's off. I mean, some people, the crime doesn't bother them. They're like, I don't care, it doesn't affect me. Yeah, like Vinny reckons that. Vinny goes, I don't care about crime, doesn't bother me, doesn't affect me. But it's easy to say that until it does affect you. So 
So I've been affected by it before. I've had workshops broken into, not this one. On this workshop here, I've gone completely over the top of security. I've just gone way overkill. A lot of people laugh at me that I've gone so way overkill. I've got like, two security firms, live monitored. I've got a security guard that's like literally 30 seconds away. If someone tries to break in here, I've got all like motion sensors out the front. He gets notified before they even get near the workshop. And then he'll be there in 30 seconds if anything's going on. So call it overkill, but I've been broken into before in my old workshop and it's not nice. It's horrible. It makes you not want to be there anymore. Trouble is in the UK, a lot of break-ins. Actually, there's no point taking them off because we're not using them anymore. Let's leave them on. So we're not using them. That can stay on, right. Now, crime in this country is getting bad. With rapists, apparently only one in th three in a hundred rapists get convicted. That's terrible. I mean, what message is that putting out to people? Does it mean you can do what you want? Out of, out of like a hundred burglaries, only one gets convicted. I mean, that's, that's awful, isn't it? That's literally giving criminals a green light to go ahead and do it. Crime equals more taxes, says Tiny. Well, if they clamp down on crime... Ah, oh man, this doesn't fit through the M2C bit. I'm going to have to take it all apart. Damn it. Because they go so easy on criminals, there is so many criminals. On the Isle of Man, they really come down hard on criminals and there's virtually zero crime. There's almost no crime at all. And how it should be. I mean, it's not nice living somewhere where you're always looking over your shoulder waiting for the next crime to happen. It's horrible. Not nice. Hate it. Really hate it. Uh, right, this is all going to have to come off again. Damn it. that together like that so I remember what side of the spacer goes on because otherwise I'll forget. And we've got these coming off here. Hey someone says happy new year, happy new year dude. Nicholas goes America's not any better. No you're right America's loads of crime as well but do you know what at least in America you're allowed to have guns you can protect yourself. You know, I, I want to get, I want to live on a farm with not any neighbours around me. If I'd done that in this country, you get broken into and everything robbed like all the time. Please don't bother coming. You can't protect yourself. Done. At least in America, you're allowed guns. You can protect your property. You're not allowed in this country. I mean, I'd rather not have guns. Like in Isle of Man, you're not allowed guns. But you don't need any guns. No one's got any guns. and There's not any crimes. So you don't need it. But if you're in a country where there's lots of crime, you know, maybe you need guns. And I know if I'd be living on a farm in the middle of nowhere, I would not feel safe without a gun. So, you know, if you're living in a high, high crime country, I think you need guns. But that's where, like, the UK has got the worst of both worlds. You've got high crime and you're not allowed guns. So you're not allowed to defend yourself. Do you know what? If a criminal breaks into your house and he hurts himself, he can sue you. Terrible. They want the criminal... It's like they want more crime. It's awful. Mm. What is going on here, man? What is... What is going on here? Oh, come on, the whole thing's falling to bits now. I thought the back was going to be easier. Come on, no. Oh. Farmer Kev. <laughs> UK can't have guns, Kev. That's what I'm saying, you're not allowed. That's what I'm saying, when you're living in a high crime country, 
How are you supposed to protect yourself? On the Isle of Man, you're not allowed guns, but there's no crime, so it's perfect. But UK is high crime country. So if you're not allowed to protect, protect yourself and the police don't bother protecting you, I mean, what, what good is that? Oh, get in there. Come on. Why won't you go in? This is fiddly, man. Oh, there we go. There we go. Going in. Will you be going to the TT? Absolutely. Oh, we always go. Kev, it's been two hours, 30 minutes. Ah, oh, man. Eastern goes with a knife. Uh, UK's got a lot of knife crime. And the thing is, at least with a gun, you can protect your property at a distance. But with a knife, you've got to go right up to the person and, and you still can't. If someone breaks into your house and you get the knife out, you're in prison for life, probably. So you can't. You're not, in this country, you're not allowed to defend yourself. The criminals just get let off. It's like literally criminals can do anything and probably not get caught. And if they do get caught, nothing happens. And if, and if you're the innocent victim that all he wants to do is protect his family, you go to prison. Terrible the way this country's going. Really awful. I'm going to miss my friends, but... Apart from that, I'll tell you what, glad to get out of here. Really am. Come on, why is it battling me, this stupid thing? Do you need a license to buy acid stuff like oven cleaner? I don't know, dude. I think so. I have got oven cleaner. Right, that's in. Right, getting somewhere now, I think. What's TN? What, what state's that TN? It says we can open carry. So I, I don't like it when people have got guns. I, you know, it's surely it's a lot nicer when no one's got guns and everyone's respectful of each other and there's no crime and you haven't got to worry about it that's the ideal scenario so that's the Isle of Man but if you've got crime you have to be able to defend yourself don't you I mean if you're not allowed to defend yourself I mean what what the hell man oh TN Tennessee oh right yeah <laughs> so no if, if I lived in America I'd have a gun definitely Definitely I'd have a gun if I lived in America. Because I know there's a lot of crime there and you have to protect yourself. D, the whatever, says he's got a shotgun simply for home defence. Well, don't blame you, dude. I'll do exactly the same. Don't blame you, dude. Have to protect your family. Family is number one. If someone's breaking into your house. Man, what? I mean, it's awful, isn't it? You can't defend yourself. I mean, how awful is that? That's like the worst. If the police are not going to protect you, at least you should be allowed to protect yourself, surely. If the legal system is so crap that it doesn't protect you, you pay so much tax to not be safe, and they don't even protect you. I mean, what the hell is that about? Joshua says he's moving to Tennessee. Hey, Hopefully it all goes smoothly for you, dude. Austin says he lives in a very low crime area of USA, but he still has guns because you never know. Yeah, I mean, it's good as a backup, isn't it? I mean, the trouble is, if... If they ban guns, then all the criminals have still got guns. But the person who wants to defend himself hasn't. So in America, I fully get it, you know, stand for your rights and keep your guns, 100%. Somewhere like Isle of Man, it's better with no guns. Here in the UK, I would say it'd be better with guns because it's so high crime. You've got to be able to defend yourself. All right, that back on. We're getting there, people. A bit longer than my original two and a half hour goal, but I don't think we're that far behind. Well, I don't know, might end up being three and a half hours. <laughs> I 
Come on, in you go. Don't battle. You've been in there before. You can go in there again. That's it. Right, in. Well, hey, Easton says he's got his dad the manscape bundle for Christmas. They're good quality products, they are, man. I'll, I'll still use my one. <laughs> Got a bit blurry, Kev. As your end, dude. I've got it on, up on the iPad here, and on my end, it's perfect. So it's got to be your end. Try resetting the stream. How do you go hunting with no guns? Well, I don't do hunting. Well, you can have a shotgun license. You know, no, no, is it shotgun? Yeah, you can have a shotgun here, but you've got to get a license. But you certainly can't use it to defend yourself. <laughs> oh my God, if you use a shotgun to defend yourself, that'll be it. They'll chuck you in prison, never let you out. And the person that beat up your family and and all that stuff, you just walk free after, well, I don't know, probably no time at all. Right, that one there. Yeah, someone says that the stream's blurry. It's your end, dude. Problem is, you've probably got slow internet. I've got it up on the iPad here, and it's perfect. So, definitely your end. Anyone suffering from blurry stream, your end, dude. I used to have blurry screens, so I updated my internet. Here, there you go, sugar. Oh, yeah. Anyone got a blurry screen, just reset your stream, re refresh it. If it's still blurry, you've probably got crap internet. Oh. oh, by the way, in the comments, guys, what is your dream job? Let me know what your dream job is. Any job in the world, if you could have any job, what would it be? Including jobs where you work for yourself. Kev, how's the simulator? Which one? I've got a monster truck simulator and a flight simulator, but yeah, I, I, I don't use them enough to be fair. I should use them a little bit more really, but I haven't got much time at the minute. A lot of it's all packed away for the move. A lot of it's already gone. So the content's going to be a little bit all over the place for a little while till I get all set up again. My dream job is being retired. Way, hey. Gynecologist. What is a gynecologist? What do they do? I don't even know what they are. What, what is that? Farmer would be my dream job, someone said. A pro truck racer. Valley driver. Valley driving scary, man. Alright, it's all coming together. Coming together now. Mobile detailing company. Yeah. What can roll our says Playboy? <laughs> you naughty boy, you. So I've got to screw that back on. While it's not on the car, because it's going to be easier. <laughs> Wheels goes your job. RAF jet pilot. So I'll tell you what, guys, whoever's got a dream job, go out there and make it happen. Whatever your dream job is, that's going to make you the happiest in life if you can have your dream job. Go out there and do it, whatever it takes. If it requires studying, if it requires learning a new skill, whatever it takes, go ahead and do it. Right. Next up, this. 
and got to put the dry shaft back in. I'm retired at 43. Ha ha ha, says Greg. Do you know what? If you've got a job that you really love, you don't want to retire. See, I, I never want to retire. I can't imagine just not doing what I do. So I think if you've got a job that you love, that's what they say. If, you, if you've got a job you love, you never work a day in your life. And that is so true. in there so right two screws go straight in gaming channel someone says oh hello fbi probably a mechanic yeah if any of you guys have got dream jobs you go out there and make it happen ah oh, damn it right i'm going to temporarily put one screw in here first to hold it that's just to hold it. It's got to come out again because I've got to peel this back and get screws in there. If I didn't, the whole bloody lot will ping off. Shaft will fly out and you'll be getting angry. Tax inspector. Dude, you have lost all my respect. Who wants to be a tax inspector? That's like wanting to be a, a parking ticket warden, traffic warden person giving out fines. Now, some people just want jobs so they can shaft other people. I'm not too down with that. Right, nearly done. Nearly done, boys and girls. Is there any girls in the stream? How many girls we got in the stream? I'm going to guess zero. Someone goes, a, hundred, a thousand likes. We got a thousand likes? Oh yeah, 1,066 likes, right. Appreciate you all, people. You are all amazing. Right, get in there. We are getting somewhere now. It's all coming together. And I've got to do it all again, but on the other one, because this car here is the car that probably one of you guys is going to win. If you guys want a chance of winning this car, if any of you guys want a chance of winning this, there's a link down below in the description box. There's also a link on the pinned comment. You click on there. Tickets are £2. That is under $3. And you've got a chance to win it. There's also a free way to enter. You can, ent you can enter the competition for free. If you read the description on that link, hit the link, go to the description, read that. It will tell you on there how you can enter for free. So everybody can have one free ticket. And if you want more than one, one ticket, you've got to buy them. So if you want a higher chance of winning, you've got to buy tickets. If you're happy with one ticket, you can get it for free. I'm not going to explain how, because I always do that, and then people get confused. So just go into the description, it'll say on there how you can get a free ticket. If you can't figure it out how to do it, then the uh, internet's probably not for you. <laughs> Ban the tax inspector. <laughs> now, you know, people don't like paying taxes, but I'm all for everyone paying their fair share. You know, if there's no taxes, the whole of society just would not function. So it's not like I'm trying to get away with not paying any taxes at all. I just want to pay fair taxes. I'm for fairness. You know, I think everybody should be treated fairly. And if over half your money's gone in taxes, and all they're doing is destroying your country with it, uh, no, don't sit right with me there. Right, so next up, we can... We could put the side guards on, but I want to see if it works first. So, we've got the controller. It's easier to work on it when the side guards are off. So, I'm going to put them on... Well, wheels on last, side guards second from last. I think the armour's coming... Yeah, they do. Armour's coming batteries now. Now, whoever wins this, you're not going to get the batteries. Batteries, you can't really ship them easily. Scott goes, I'll give you $2,000 for that truck. Uh, not for sale, dude. Not for sale, but you've got a chance of winning it, though. 
everyone's got a chance of winning it, click on the link in the description. And I've got the other one down there on the floor, look, the red one. So that one I'm going to do a video on. And it's going to be built to the exact same spec as this one. And whoever wins can choose the brand new one, this one, or that one. Some people like... Some people like to have the brand new one because it's fresh and other people like to have the one that was used on the channel because it's a bit of channel history. Right, the battery is in. We're going to see this working in a minute, guys. Get in there. Get in there. Right, that's on. And do you know what as well? I'm gonna give my little little Kev sign on there as well, look. There we go. Little Kev signature on there. So you get part of the channel, whoever wins that. Right. This is where it's better to do this with the wheels off. So it doesn't shoot off. Now, in the box comes a high-speed pinion so that you could gear this up to like 65 mile an hour. I'm going to leave it off because I don't know what the person winning it is going to want to do with it. So it's going to come with a high-speed gearing. If you want to gear it up, you can. There we go, 8S. Turbo working. There we go, that works, forward. Backwards, perfect. We've got the steering working, so we're going to make sure that the steering trim is in the middle. And then we've got to make sure that the steering is centered. And then we can put the servo arm on there like that. And then I'm just going to, just going to get the camera down so you guys can see what's going on. Autographic Kev. I'll just have, dude. I could do the chassis as well if you want. Shall I do the chassis? Shall we autograph the chassis? There you go. Chassis autographed. Raz, you're going to get banned for saying words like that. <laughs> got Raz in the house. How you doing, Razzy? There you go, look. You got, you got your servo in there. Isn't it? Is? Raz is like, I don't think, Raz is from Israel. I don't think Raz realises what a bad word that is. <laughs> that is like in England, the worst word you can say. You can't say a worse word. You will probably offend people and they're not going to buy your servo. I'm not offended. I think it's funny. <laughs> right. So get that screw in there. Well done, Armour, for fixing their stupid servo splines. That's in. We've got the steering going the wrong way, so we need to go to steering, reverse. There. Yeah. Now we're going the right way. There we go, look. So, pretty fast, but once we get all the wheels on there, you'll see how fast it really goes with all the load on there and everything. Right, put you there. Put you there in a minute. We're going to put it all, put all the wheels on there, and then we'll test it on the floor. See how good that servo works on the carpet. Raz goes, I meant high. <laughs> I hope you don't talk to your customers like that, Raz. So imagine that someone orders a perfect pass servo, and then it goes wrong and sends sends a message to customer service, and that's that's what they get for a response. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be funny. Right, so lid on. Nicholas goes, my servo sucks on my version one notorious success. Well, get a perfect pass one and it won't suck. Get yourself a perfect pass servo, dude. Can't go wrong with them. It's got to be one of the best all-round servos out there. Waterproof, strong, heavy duty, takes a beat in. Right, I'm just trying to get these wires in. 
Oh, you can probably see his arm. But it's too fiddly to get the camera in the way. So we'll get the camera there in a minute. But this bit is really fiddly. And when it's fiddly, the camera has to get out of the bloody way. All right. Come on, fiddly. How much is he paying you, Kev? Nothing. He's paying me nothing. I don't accept payments for RC products because it would ruin, ruin my authenticity. And I have broken one before and I've showed it in a video. Same goes for any company. Just, just because Raz is a friend, it doesn't mean that I'm just gonna say it's good just because he's a friend. I've broken Razzie's products before and I've shown it. So everyone gets the same treatment, whether it's a friend or a non-friend. Every product gets exactly the same treatment. Whatever happens in the video goes in the video. If it breaks, it goes in the video. And you guys can see. I'll show you guys in a minute. I'm going to put the wheels on there and you'll see how good it is. Live. I can't fake it, can I? How can I fake it when it's live? Right, next up. Uh, side, oh actually first, and put the centre bar back in, and uh, right, that screw in the back, that screw there in the front. William goes, never get fed up with Kev, way. Tox goes, Kev has integrity. I'll tell you what dude, if you haven't got integrity, you haven't got anything. Integrity is worth more than anything else. It takes years and years and years and years to build up a good reputation and you can ruin it in seconds. So there is no way that I've spent all these years building up a good reputation and then ruining it just by saying that a product that sucks is good. Not happening. If your product sucks, you'll see it on this channel. If your product's good, you'll see it as well. I don't care who it's from. So to the person that says, oh, how much is Raz paying you? No, nothing. I've been offered money from RC companies before to promote their products. I'm like, no. Nope. Not happening. I'm not gonna accept money and then get told how to make my videos. Not happening. You, you, you viewers mean more to me than a quick little buck, buck in your bank account. Because once you lose your credibility, you guys won't watch anymore and you guys won't buy from affiliate links anymore that I recommend. So ultimately, if I start lying and making out that stuff's good, that isn't, it's gonna hit me in the arse. And I'll tell you what guys, there is a channel actually, oh man, I don't really wanna say it, I don't want the drama, I'm not gonna say who it is, but there is a channel that always does Horizon products. I haven't actually for about a month now, so I don't know if something happened there, but they always do the Horizon products. They get them new before you can buy them in the shop, so they obviously get them from the manufacturer directly, and they obviously get told what they're allowed to say, because they never, ever, ever, ever show anything negative, like ever. Never. So... And then they, then they complain that they don't get many views. But if you haven't got integrity, you're not going to get views. No integrity equals no views. So you, you guys can say it in the comments. <laughs> yeah, someone's just guessed it right. <laughs> I'm not going to say it though. I don't want any drama. I've been there with drama. I don't want it anymore. I just want to have fun with RCs. Have a laugh with you guys. Let's enjoy the hobby. If I put that on the right way round. Mm, yeah, I have. Yep. Yeah, just got to do the screws up. There you go. Raz even says, Kev's the only one that says it how it is. There you go. If I break one of Razzie's servos, I will tell you. Don't you worry about that. Same on M2C. You know, when an M2C part breaks, I'll show it. 
you know, you see so many channels that review products, they won't show they won't show the bad sides. But I tell you what, companies like M2C, they've got integrity. Because they they send me stuff sometimes and they said, yeah, if it breaks, show it. It means that we can work harder to make better products. <laughs> A lot of you guys are guessing right, yeah. Right, I'm not saying anything. I'm not giving any names because I don't want the drama. But just be careful, guys. If if a certain YouTuber is only saying good stuff about a certain brand, they're probably getting a load of free stuff or they're getting paid or something and they haven't got you in mind. All they're thinking about is their back pocket. Their main priority is to get as many free gifts as possible, probably get paid for it as well, and then put an affiliate link in and sell as many as possible. Yeah, I've got affiliate links in there, but you know, it's not my main income. My affiliate income is less than 1% of my total earnings, so I don't really care. I could turn my affiliate income off altogether. <coughs> affiliate income might give me a little drink down the pub, but I don't, I don't even go to the pub. It might buy me a curry every now and then. How's that? <laughs> yeah, you guys know. And every now and then, what they do, they'll review a Banggood product, and to try and make it look like they've got integrity, they then go and say, they, they say, oh yeah, look, see, this product sucks. See, we show, we, 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 we say how it is. When a product sucks, we show you. But they don't when it's Horizon. If a Horizon product sucks, they will not show you. You know, and I think if any of you guys see any of that stuff going on, just leave a note in their comment section. Not, I'm not giving you any names of what channel, but if you see a, a YouTube channel with no integrity, you call them out. Make sure you're right, though. Don't just make it up. You know, don't, don't, don't accuse channels that have got integrity of not having it. You know, a lot of channels do have integrity, and they will show you how it is. But equally, there's a lot of channels that will lie and make stuff look good just for their own benefit. But ultimately, it bites them in the arse because nobody watches their videos and then they complain that they can't get any views. <laughs> I think you guys know who it is. <laughs> that's how obvious it is. Everybody already knows. See? And, that's, and they can't get views. Everybody knows that they're... They're lying about products and they can't get the views. So, you know, as I said, not giving names, but just be vigilant. Just because a YouTuber tells you that a certain product is good, doesn't mean it actually is. Channels with sponsors. You see, with sponsors, you're getting paid to talk about a product. And and you have to sort of say that, that, that it's a sponsored segment of the video and you've got to put it in the description and everything and say, so people know. You know, if I do a Manscaped, for example, the ball shaver, people know that that is a sponsored segment of the video. You know, and I'm open about it. Everyone knows, everyone knows that, that is a sponsored ad. And Manscaped pay me to, to talk about their product. And they kind of give you guidelines of what they want you to talk about. And I always say to them, it's like, look, it's like, I'll talk about what you want me to talk about, but I've got to, I've got to be happy with the product. So they send me the product first, I test it out. They tell me what they want me to say in the ad, you know, like the features and all that stuff. And as long as I can be fully honest with it, I'm happy to do it. Right, I think that's done. Oh, no, hold on, got to put the switch on, then we really are done. But, you know, I don't really do sponsorships, really. I, to me, they're annoying. I just like getting a car like this and doing it on my terms, exactly how I want to do it. I can just do what I like. I haven't got to send the video for approval to anyone. I, I'll just do the video, that's it, let it roll. If you do a sponsorship, you have to keep sending them, like... You have to keep sending them like your little draft copy and make sure that they're happy with it and then redo it. 
But, you know, my rule always isn't all of them. I'm not going to make out that anything's good if it isn't. I'll test it. I'll see how it goes. If it's good, I'll, I'll just say it's good. If it sucks, well, they're not going to pay me to say it sucks. I suppose I just don't do the sponsorship. <laughs> but you'll never, you'll never see me endorse something that I don't agree with myself. Right. Now, let's put you down here for a minute. We're going to put the car on the floor. Get you all the way out there. My long tripod. And I want to see if it works. So battery's in. Someone someone goes to me in the comments and says, oh, Kev, you look really short. But it all depends where you put the tripod. If I put the tripod down here, look. Now suddenly I look really tall. So it all, de it all depends where you put the tripod, doesn't it, how tall you are. But obviously if I put the tripod right up to the ceiling, I'm going to look short, ain't I? There you go, I look like a short ass now. <laughs> Uh, I'm about average. I'm not tall, but I'm not short. I can't remember exactly what I am, but it's nearly nearly six foot. I think five eight. I think it was something like that. Well, I'd say I'm an average. Hey, we've got RC man in the house. Hey, RC man in the house. How you doing, dude? we we'll have to do some videos with RC Man soon. RC Man lives in the Isle of Man. So there'll be some Isle of Man videos soon, no doubt. <laughs> What's been going on, Rob? Rob Isle of Man, Rob. What's been happening? Slap your body on and go boom. Right, so batteries in. Oh, these batteries in here, these are Onyx Lipos. Got some good results with your Onyx. Oh, man. Right, that in, radio's already on. That in, that in, that on. There we go, boom. Are right, you ready, you ready, you ready? Hey, look at that. I wonder if I can do a donut in here. I don't want to break it because one of you guys is going to win this one. <laughs> it's not really in space. But here, look, look at that. Look at Razzy's servo. Look at that, we're live. So it's whoever said, oh, Kev, Raz must be paying you. Look, live. Let's have a look how good it is live. There we go, on carpet. Look, we'll put that there. Hold on. Let me plug you back on the tripod. I want to show you how fast it is with weight on it. Live. See, it can't be faked. We're live. If it sucks, you'll see that it sucks live. So let's get this so you can see the car and the steering. Nah. All right, there, you ready? Look how fast that is. It's going like as fast as I can do it. And then we can check it even more, look. I can put my foot on there. The servo don't care. That's the servo saver, look at that. The servo doesn't care. I mean, and you're never gonna have that much load on there, look. There you go, live. Live! <laughs> what, what other YouTuber shows you products live, eh? Right, put that back on the bench and then I want to show you the finished product. You have to pretend about the music, you know, when we do the live music, you have to pretend. So, do 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 now 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 do 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 do
full 7075 chassis, the front stiffeners. We've got the EXB top wishbone hinge pin brace thing. We've got the M2C bottom ones with a through pin. We've got the perfect pass servo and it's brand new and you can win it. It can be yours and it's signed by me. Look, there we go. Get that body on there. I can't line it up fully with one hand. But hold on. What is going on here? Why are you not fitting? Have I done something wrong? No, that's it, we're on. Something's a bit tight, I'll have to have a look at that in a minute. Why has it gone tight? See, so that's what happens when you do it live. Right, we'll have to have a look at that in a minute off camera. Something's a bit tight, stopping that from going down, look. Have I put the side guards on the wrong way around? Don't think so. But anyway, there you go. If you want to win this one or that one, the link is on the top of the comments there. So you can click on there and you can choose to have the brand new one, never used, well, apart from the little poor carpet donut, or you can win that one there, whichever one you want. Up to you. Up to you. So that will, it will go down. I just don't know why it's gone tight. Is something in the way? Oh, hold on. Is it that? Yeah, I think it's the wires. I think I had the wire on there. Right, let's see. Well, you guys are going to think I'm giving away a lemon here, aren't you? There we go. Now we're on. Now we're on. I was trapping the wire. So you've got two clips on the back here. Where's the hole? Can't find a hole. Right, there we go, now we're on. Boom. Boom, there we go, all fitted, body clips on. I took that one there out for a speed run yesterday and we got 64 mile an hour out of it on the high speed gearing. Mad. I think the tires must be belted because they don't balloon too much. Really nice rig, I like the extra long wheelbase. I've always liked the Craytons, but these with a the longer wheelbase, they just drive so much nicer. What a rig. What a rig. Right. We're going to finish my chicory, have a little waffle with some of you lot. And then we're going to call it a day. Get these, um, get these gloves off. I've had these on for how long now? How long have we been live for? Ages, 190 minutes coming up. How long is that in hours? <laughs> That's like three hours nearly, isn't it? A bit over. What a rig of sugar. When are you getting the X-Max Ultimate? Well, I don't know if I can get one. They're, they're only making them in limited supply, so I might not be able to get one. Right, hold on, got runny nose. Runny hooter. Right, what are you guys saying? What are you guys saying in the old comment section? What's going on? RC man, boom! <laughs> AJ's off. Nice one. Cheers for stepping in, dude. Christmas burnout, please, people are saying. I don't think I've got anything ready for a Christmas burnout. I'm not going to do it with this one, because this one I'll keep him brand new. Because if the winner wants this one, I'm not, I'm not going to give him, give him a burnt out wig, am I? I want him to have a perfect brand new Kev modified with all the nice bits on there. Oh, see, man, he's on the chicory. Chicory for life, absolutely. How many chicory jars have you had so far, Rob? Can you show us the Lambo? Uh, I showed it earlier, I think, didn't I? Is it morning? No, not for me. For us, it is uh, half past six or 6.30, depending how you say it. Whatever happened to you, Mojave? Mojave's up there, look. You can see it. Right on the top shelf, above the X-Max. I had it out the other day, actually. I, I done, when I done the Mojave Fortis video, I had it in that video. UDR for burnout. Uh, no, we're not going to do a burnout now. I need to get some food. We've been going for like over three hours now. 
Did you have a curry for Christmas dinner? Says RC Man. No. Oh man, looking forward to an Isle of Man curry though. We'll have to do that soon. Lambo burnout. I did one before, like a donut burnout. Do you have the Hoonican drift car? Uh, yeah, I think I've got it upstairs actually, but they've got a new one coming out. It's 8S, I know 6S, so I've got that one coming. Did the lad claim your blue Raminator, Kev? Yes, he did. What, um, what happened? Somebody Facebooked him. Someone put the name into Facebook, Facebooked him, sent him a message, then he emailed me. And he goes, oh, dude, he goes, I didn't see the email. He goes, he goes, somebody Facebooked me and said. So he said that, sent his address over, and he's got it. Happy days. What is your favourite Tamiya? My first ever Tamiya was a Tamiya Manta Ray, so that is one. My first ever hobby grade RC car, so that one's got a special place in my heart. So I'm going to say Manta Ray. Are you going to get TRX4M? Yes, I've already got two of them. I've got the big high lift one, whatever it's called, and, and the Land Rover one. Have a good new year, says Lyle. Hey, nice one, dude, and you guys. I hope all you guys have a good new year. I don't know if I'll get another live stream in until new year. I might do. We'll see. But if I don't see you guys, I hope you have a good new year. Have you guys got any new year's resolutions? Put it in the comments down below. If you share your New Year's resolution, you're more likely to follow through with it. So put your New Year's resolutions in the comments. Cold chicory, lovely. Not. Like your collection. Hey, thanks, dude. It's because of YouTube. You've got to have so many RCs. Are you going to go to Isle of Man TT 2024? Absolutely. Can't wait for that. I'm not really into motorbikes, but that TT is going to be epic. Slash says not crass so much. Is Stempy moving with you? No, no one's moving with me. I've gone on my own. Stop smoking. Yeah, that's a good one. Probably one of the best things you can do in your life. Stop smoking. Quit cigarettes. Yeah. And don't even bother vaping. I see so many people give up smoking and they start vaping and then they end up going back on the cigarettes. Now they're doing cigarettes and vaping. So you're even more addicted now. So just stop and stop. Just go cold turkey, man. Get my YouTube channel started. Yeah, there you go. Get it done. Hey, RC man says spend more money on RCs. Boom. <laughs> Cut back on booze. Yeah, that's a good one. I don't really drink anymore. What's that box car on your right? On my right? Nothing there. And on this right? No, what one do you mean? What one do you mean? The one there, if you're about that one, this is that. That's the one we just put together. Right, anyway guys, I'm going to let you go. I'm getting hungry, not eating yet all day. I've uh, got a bit, of a bit of a podge coming on again. So that's my new year, get rid of the podge again. <laughs> and work harder. She's always working harder. Right, thanks for stepping by guys. And if I don't see you this year, I'll see you next year. All right guys, take it easy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.